Friday night at Utah Grizzlies Hockey. As it's the second of a three-game series between the Grizzlies and the Rapid City Rush. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting. It's going to be an interesting night of hockey as it's the fourth of ten season meetings between the Grizzlies and the Rush. They split a two-game set, the first two games of the regular season. Taryn Pfizer scored three goals in that two-game set at Maverick Center to start the regular season. Pfizer had two assists in last night's game, but it was Rapid City that came away with a 5-2 to two victory. The Grizzlies did win the special teams battle as they went 2-4 for four on the power play, and they were a perfect 4-4 four for four on the penalty kill. But Rapid City outscored the Grizzlies 5-0 in 5-on-5 five five situations, including two goals from Rory Karens and one goal and one assist from Matt Marshno and Ilya Nikolaev. And it was just too much. The rush came away with a three-goal victory. The Grizzlies did get one goal and one assist from Cameron Wright. Keaton Jamison added a power play goal. 218 into the third. That made it a 2-2 game and then three unanswered by Rapid City as the rush outshot the Grizzlies 41 to 31. And they and they won the game five to two. Trent Miner got the start last night and stopped 36 of 41. Tonight, it's going to be Garrett Metcalf making his first Grizzlies start since December 3rd, where he stopped 44 of 46 in a Utah victory. In fact, it was the last time that the Idaho Stillheads lost a game. And for the Grizzlies, they're just hoping to find a way to come out on top this evening. Garrett's been outstanding for the Grizzlies this year with a record of five and one. He just spent five games recently with the AHL San Diego Ghouls. He was really good in the first and fifth games in San Diego. You think about the first game that he played in San Diego. It was uh, in early December and played well there. And then the last game in San Diego was on December 23rd, where he stopped 27 of 29 in a goals victory. And uh, you think about Garrett Metcalf and the job he has done for the Grizzlies this season. He is 5-1 and one with a 9-13 save percentage at 3.16. Goals against average. He'll be going up against Daniil Chechilev, who leads the league with 15 wins on the season. So, should be a lot of fun tonight. Grizzlies and the Rush meeting for the second of a three-game set. It's the second of a three-game and three-night stretch. And for the Grizzlies, they're looking to end a six-game losing skid. As for Rapid City, they have won three of their last four. When we come back, we'll talk with Guy Krenz and get his thoughts on tonight's game as we're in business on a Friday night. And you're listening to the Grizzlies pregame report presented by America First Credit Union. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Welcome back to the Grizzlies pregame report presented by America First Credit Union. I'm Tyson Whiting hanging out here in the lobby at Maverick Center with Guy Carenza. And uh, Guy, the Grizzlies did win the special teams battle last night. They were two for four on the power play and a perfect four for four on the penalty kill. I think if the Grizzlies are going to come out on top here this evening, they're going to have to have a good special teams outing once again. Yeah, Tyson, I agree. The Grizzlies played a really good special teams game last game. Uh, but unfortunately, they just weren't able to score five on five, and that was the difference maker. So hopefully tonight, the Grizzlies can come out and get some goals at even strength. Cameron Wright was outstanding last night with one goal and one assist. He's really coming into his own, one of the better rookies in the league. In fact, he leads all league rookies in shots on goal, and he's been outstanding for the Grizzlies here as over the last five or six games. Yeah, Tyson, it's really awesome to see Cameron Wright develop into a top-tier player on this team. Uh, he's having himself an outstanding season, and he had a really good game last game. I expect the same from him tonight. It'll be interesting to see really what Dakota Raby does tonight. He's got 18 points in 29 games, and I think his speed can make a real impact here tonight. Yeah, Tyson, I noticed Dakota Raby in the first period of last night's game. He was really quick, and he was making a lot of plays with the puck. I hope that in this game he can continue to use his speed and make things happen. We talked about the transition game last night, and I expect that to play a factor again here tonight and uh, look for Dakota, for excuse me, Dakota Raby to be the guy to lead the charge on that. 
You're at Metcalf making his first start for the Grizzlies since December 30. Played in five games with the AHL's San Diego Ghouls, and Metcalf's been outstanding for the Grizzlies, and they need a great effort from him tonight. Yeah, Tyson, they are, and the Rapid City Rush are one of those teams that loves to take a lot of shots, and that should be no problem for Garrett Metcalf. Is when he faced the Idaho Steelheads, he took a lot of shots on him. He was able to come out with a victory. So uh, my pick to click tonight is actually going to be Garrett Metcalf. I think he's going to have a solid game. You're going with Garrett Metcalf. I'm going to go with... Taron Pfizer, he's been outstanding in three games against Rapid City this year, but three goals and two assists, including obviously two assists last night. I think Taron's going to have a good game. Yeah, Taron Pfizer, like Cameron Wright, is one of those guys that has really just started to be emerged into a star on this team. And I really think those two have great chemistry together. So for sure, those are two guys to watch in this game tonight. It's the second of a three-game series. The Grizzlies and the Rapid City Rush. For Utah, I think it's going to be interesting to see what the shot count looks like against Rapid City. Can they find a way to limit Rapid City under their average at 35.2 shots per game? And I think that it's not just shots, but it's kind of puck possession. And I think for the Grizzlies, they need a little bit more puck possession here tonight. Yeah, Tyson, I agree with that. And I also say that turnovers are going to be a big part of this game. I think last night we saw a few mistakes with the puck last night. Puck luck didn't really go the Grizzlies' way. They got to find a way to, as you said, maintain possession and not cough up the puck. It's the Grizzlies in the rush. When we come back, we'll give you the lineups for both teams. This is the Utah Grizzlies pregame show presented by America First Credit Union. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick... You always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your adventure. Cl- Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or ice. Enjoy a fresh cup today. Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting here with Guy Carenza. Let's get to the lineups for both teams. First for the visiting Utah Grizzlies, who are led by second-year head coach Ryan Kanasiewicz. His assistant is Jared Pike. The Grizzlies are 11-18 and 18 this season. They are 6-10 and 10 away from the friendly confines of Maverick Center. Starting in net is going to be Garrett Metcalf, the Salt Lake City native. He's played in six games this year. He's got a 5-1 and one record with a 3.16 goals against average and 9-13 save percentage. It la- his last start for the Grizzlies was the last time the Idaho still has lost and it was in Idaho where he stopped 46 of or 44 of 46 in a Utah 4-2 victory. The starting defensive pairing, according to the uh, ECHL app, has Connor McDonald, the Grizzlies captain, who's got two goals and three assists in 26 games. He'll be paired up with Victor Bartley, Bartley, the former NHL product of the Nashville Predators and Montreal Canadiens. He played in 121 NHL games. He'll be wearing number 42. He's got one goal and five assists in 21 games. Grizzlies are going with Seven defensemen tonight. The other defensemen we'll see include Corey Thomas, who's got two assists this season. He's 6'5 and 215 pounds. We'll also see James Shearer, who's an even in the plus-minus category this season. He'll wear number 10. We'll also see Kyle Pouncey, number 23. He's got five assists in 24 games. We'll also see Aaron Tho wearing number 28. And the all-star, Andrew Nilsson, who leads the club with 20 assists and 24 points on the season. So starting defensive pairing is McDonald and Bartley. We'll also see Thomas, Shearer, Tho, Pouncey, and Nilsson. Starting forwards for the Grizzlies, Taron Pfizer, who had two assists last night in 19 games this season. He's got eight goals and six assists. He'll be paired up next to Tyler Penner, the Grizzlies' Iron Man, who's making his 102nd consecutive appearance for the Grizzlies. He played in all 72 games last year, and this is game 30 for the Grizzlies, and this will be the 30th appearance for Tyler Penner. And Dakota Raby, the Michigan product, who was a graduate transfer at Sacred Heart University, He's got 18 points in 29 games this season. So starting forwards are Pfizer, Penner, and Raby. Seven other forwards we'll see tonight include Keaton Jamison, who had a goal last night. He's got six goals and three assists in 28 games. Dylan Fitz wearing number 13. He's got three goals and five assists in 29 games. We'll also see Cameron Wright, who had one goal and one assist last night. Wright leads all Grizzlies forwards with 21 points this season, five goals and 16 assists. We'll also see the Merrimack product, 
Christian Simeone, who's got one goal and one assist in 16 games. Vladislav Mikalchuk has three goals and one assist in 23 games. We'll also see Cam Strong, who's got a goal in two of his last four games. And the Rooster, Jordan Martel, who's wearing number 27. He had an assist last night. He's got nine assists overall in 21 games. So the starting forwards are Pfizer, Penner, and Raby. But we'll also see tonight Jameson, Fitz, Wright, along with Simeone, Mikalchuk, Strong, and Martel. A Rapid City's starting goaltender is Danil Chechilev, who's got a record of 15-8 and eight this season with a 3.12 goals against average and 908 save percentage. He got the victory last night, stopping 29 of 31. Starting defensive pairing, Quinn Wickers, who's got three assists in 23 games. He'll be lined up next to Colton Leader, who's normally a forward, but Leader playing a defensive role. It's the same scenario for Rapid City tonight, who have five defensemen, but two of them are forwards by trade, as Keegan Iverson will also be a defenseman. Can the Grizzlies find a way to take advantage of that tonight? That will, remains to be seen. Starting forwards, Ilya Nikolaev, who's got 10 goals and 15 assists in 28 games. He had a good outing last night. He's a plus six this season. We'll, we'll also see Max Coda who's got four goals and eight assists in 32 games. He'll wear number nine. And Brett, Brett, Brett Gravel, who in 18 games this season has six goals and five assists. But also watch out for Matt Marchneau, who had a goal last night. He's got 15 goals and 22 assists this season. He leads the rush with 37 points. And also watch out for Alex Aliardi, who has 30 points in 32 games. And Roy Karens, who scored two goals last night, has 13 goals and 14 assists in only 25 games. Karens is only 20 years old. When we come back in two minutes, we'll have face-off over at the Monument. It's the Grizzlies and the Rush, and face-off is coming up next on the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by America First Credit Union. When you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro Card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. It's a great night for hockey as two big standings points are on the line tonight as the Grizzlies are at the Monument to take on the Rapid City Rush in the second of a three-game series. I'm Tyson Whiting. The Grizzlies are wearing a black jersey tonight with professional green numbers, white lettering in the back of the jersey, and white trim. It's the Grizzlies' third jersey of the alternate. It's the fourth time they've worn these jerseys. All of them have been on the road as they wore them two games in Boise on December 21st and 23rd, and they also wore those jerseys last night. Looks like Rapid City is wearing a red jersey with white numbers and red pants. Looks like a lot of red with just a little bit of white mixed in, white lettering in the back of the jerseys, and the and the wording Rapid City horizontally 
uh, from left to right on the jersey. Grisby's in attendance over at the Monument as they are celebrating Nugget's birthday. As Nugget, the Rapid City mascot, celebrating a birthday, and Grisby is in attendance tonight at the Monument. Referee is Trevor Wolford. The linesmen are Zach Carson and Tyler Willey. It'll be interesting to see if the Grizzlies can find a way to score first here tonight as the Grizzlies will be skating from right to left as we see it from Flow Sports. Your mind's eye see it on YouTube. As the puck is dropped, Utah wins the draw and wonder as the captain, Connor McDonald, dumps it in. As Daniil Chechula plays it behind his net, he's a Russian native, 21 years old. Max Cota with a check as the Grizzlies in the high slot. Pfizer will feed it over to Raby. Raby back to Pfizer, takes a shot. And it goes just wide. Pfizer got tripped up, and a call is going to be, be made. And the Grizzlies are going to be on the power play 18 seconds in. Good passing by the Grizzlies. They fed it to Raby on the left side. Then they got it back to Pfizer. Pfizer took a one-timer, and as he was taking it, he got tripped up. And so going to the Rodgers and Russell legal solutions holding cell is going to be Colton Leader. Rodgers and Russell is Utah's number one DUI defense firm. Consequences for driving under the influence are serious, and you need great attorneys on your first line. Look for a letter in the mail from Rogers and Russell inviting you to schedule a free consultation. Don't throw away or disregard this letter. Calling it Utah's best DUI defense team. Rogers and Russell. Utah wins the draw, but it goes between the defensive pairing, and the Grizz will back it all the way out. Andrew Nelson, number 44, has got 13 power play assists and 15 power play points. will skate down the middle 30 seconds into the contest. Now he'll drop it off. Pfizer gets it in the left side. So he'll step over the line, and Puck ends up getting poked back to center ice. Nilsson will feed it back over to Keaton Jamison, I believe. The numbers are a little bit tough on these jerseys with the 10 of the camera. As the Grizzlies cross center ice, now they gain the line. As they'll skate towards the right circle, right gets it poked away. Now he gets it up top for Nilsson. Andrew gets it back towards right. Cameron, who's got seven power play assists this season, will feed it up top. Rapid City picks it off and clears it out. Garrett Metcalf will give it over to Nilsson as Andrew skates around Metcalf's net. Grizzly skate from right to left as Nilsson, now at neutral ice, will feed it back to Raby. Raby will skate over the line, gets around a check as Raby over in the left circle, now skates around the net. Raby on the right side gets it up top for Nilsson as Andrew, wearing number 44, will get it across to Bartley. Bartley on the left side feeds it to the near corner. Now back up top for Bartley, across to Nilsson. So get it to Raby, back to Bartley. Now it's the left side, one-timer, and it's wide. That shot was taken by McCallchuck. Puck goes back to Raby, and now to McCallchuck, back to Bartley, one-timer, and it goes wide. Puck glides along the far wing boards and goes out into the Grizzlies zone. Utah chases after it. Rap City gets there first, and Utah with a check behind their nets. Now turnover, left circle, shot goes wide. Rush will feed it back towards you, the far circle. Utah picks it off. 15 seconds left in the power play. Utah gets to the Rapid City blue line, falls down, and the rush will get it and clear it out. Metcalf will skate towards the far side, cut the puck, up, puck off before it gets to the goal line as the Grizzlies. Victor Bartley will get it over to the far side as leaders coming out of the penalty box right now. As we're still scoreless, Utah 0 for 1 on the power play. As Utah dumps it into the left corner, Rapid City nudges it ahead as it kicks out to center ice. It ricochets off the boards near Rapid City's bench. And the Grizzlies have it poked back to center ice. Utah gets it ahead. Now it's the right side. Utah with a toe drag. Rapid City pokes it away. Now Nilsson with a shot saved by Chechilev. Rapid City clears it back to center where Nilsson regathers it as Utah will dump it back in. Rapid City picks it off about halfway from the blue line to the goal line. Nilsson gets it back in neutral ice and whips it around the boards. As it goes to the far side, Utah back with the puck. As Fitz will dump it back in as Rapid City chasing after it. Keegan Iverson will roll it back towards the near side as the rush will get it to center, but it's retaken by Utah. As Corey Thomas will nudge it ahead, taken by Pfizer. Skates to the left circle, takes a shot, and it goes just wide and deflects off the protective netting. As Taryn Pfizer had a pretty good look from the left circle, it looked like it just bounced off Chechilev's uh, stick, and, uh, you know, blocker save, and it just... Flew out of play. 16-52 left in the first. Still no score. Chechilev's glove side is his right, and his stick side is his left. He leads the league in a few categories, including minutes played and victories with 15. Tyler Penner will take the face off in the left circle. It's won by Utah. Grizz has done a good job at puck possession early on. Aaron Thoe, right wing shot. Glove saved by Chechilev. 
He holds on as Utah already with two shots here in the first three and a half minutes of play as the whistle blows with 1647 left in the first. Everybody make your pick to click as who's going to be the player of the game for the Grizzlies. Guy Krenz is going with Garrett Metcalf, where I am going with Taryn Pfizer as my pick to click. Pfizer had two assists last night. Penner will take the draw. He's got Martel to his right and Pfizer to his left. Draw one by Rapid City as they'll feed it over to neutralize. They lift it in the air. It's gloved by Utah. Grizz skate from right to left, but Pfizer couldn't handle the pass at center ice. Now Rapid City will dump it into the offensive zone as it rolls to the right corner and back towards Aaron Tho. Tho gets taken away as Rapid City good on the back check as behind the goal line. They feed it to the right side for Leader. Leader over to... Zach Court, now Calder Brooks, and Logan Nelson back to leader. He'll take a righty shot that goes wide. Pfizer gets it off the far boards. He'll nudge it ahead as he's looking for Raby. Raby gets hit, and leader divorces him from the puck as leader will skate towards his goal line to get it. Now he gets it to the near corner. Rapid City will lift it in the air, and it goes out of play. Is it going to be delay of game? Well, it might be, and I, don't, I couldn't see if it got redirected because I couldn't see it. It does look like it's delay of game as Rapid City's got a guy skating towards the penalty box. He gave a fan a souvenir in row one, but the problem is he did it from his own zone. So the Grizzlies are going to be on the power play, I believe, for the second time here this evening. Utah came into play an even 20% on the power play this year as Rapid City was deep in their own end and just lifted it out to center ice, but it went out of play. In fact, the Grizzlies got off to a really slow start on the power play this season, and... Over the last 21 games, they've been pretty good at it. As Let's see how many skaters there are for Rapid City. I do think Utah is on the power play, and they are, as Rapid City will clear it out to center. They get the puck at center ice. Max Cota gets hit, and they get dragged down. Grizzlies come back the other way as Utah crosses center. Grizzlies skate down the middle as Cameron Wright veers off to the right, takes a shot that's blocked by Wickers, and Wright will feed it over to the near corner as Carter Robertson delivers a hit on Johnny uh, nah, Jordan Martell. Puck goes back to Nilsson, but he couldn't hold the line as it goes out to center ice as Nilsson will feed it ahead. Now the Grizzlies re-enter right from the left side, drops it off for Nilsson. Andrew trying to get it back towards right. It's picked off by Zach Cord, who fires a backhand pass out to center ice to Nikolaev, who throws it all the way towards Garrett Metcalf. 50 seconds into the Grizzlies' second power play tonight. Metcalf behind his net. We'll give it to Victor Bartley. Bartley wearing number 42. He's got Aaron Tho with him. Left wing pass to Tho. He crosses center ice. Tho will bounce it off the near boards. The puck goes to the corner as Tho collides with Colton Leader as Grizzlies. We'll chip it up top for Bartley. He'll skate towards his right. Now he gets just outside the left circle to Tho. Now it's the corner from McCallchuk who was trying to hold on to it, but couldn't. Nikolaev collides with the linesman, and somehow Rapid City is able to clear it out as one of the officials went down near where the puck was. Grizzlies chase after it. 30 seconds left in their power play. Five and a half minutes in, still no score. Up ahead to Raby, who crosses the center ice. He'll feed it to the right side for McCallchuk. McCallchuk skates towards the right side. He'll whip it around the boards. Now the puck's on the left side. Looks like the Tulsa camera operators are there in Rapid City tonight as Roy Karens gets checked along the near boards. Now Karens will whip it along the far side as it's cut off by Bartley on the right point. Grizzlies get it over to Fitz. He takes a shot and he scores. Dylan Fitz gives Utah a 1-0 lead as he scored on the power play as Utah's drawn first blood here tonight. Boy, puck glided along the right wing, and I think it was Dylan Fitz who was able to get the puck. They're not, obviously not going to show a replay, but the Grizzlies get on the board first. 14-10 left in the first. So the Grizzlies, once again, it was late in the power play. I couldn't tell if it was a power play tally or if it was even strength. It was pretty close. As Grisby's in attendance, he's pointing to the ice and celebrating. Grisby throws both hands in the air as Utah gets on the board here first. Draw's going to be at center ice. And it's won by Rapid City as they skate from left to right. As Rush will throw it into Grizzlies territory and dump it in. Metcalf behind his net cuts it off as he'll feed it towards the near wing boards. As Garrett Klotz, the former Grizzly, will chip it to the corner. It goes past number 11, Lucas Fuke. 
And it goes out to center eye. Zach Court in the area. He's got the puck as he'll skate back to his own zone. I'll feed it to a defenseman. Now across to Carter Robertson, who will chip it off the near boards. As Rapid City crosses center ice, Court dumps it in. As Connor McDonald chases after it, he skates towards the far side. Now the Grizzlies will gather the puck and cross center. Pfizer loses it as it goes back to Robertson. He'll feed it ahead. Grizzlies cut it off and dump it back into the Rapid City zone as Quinn Wickers will chase after it. Wickers has it. He skates down the middle. Fans on a pass, regathers the puck. He's still back in his own zone. He'll go D to D to Robertson, who will chip it out to neutralize. Rapid City will backhand it out, and it's picked off by Utah at center. Now the Grizzlies over to the left side, trying to enter the zone. Utah was offside. Now it goes to Cameron Wright. He skates down the middle, take a righty shot, say rebound shot. All oh, Grizzlies with a second look. Fitz had it go wide. Puck goes to the right side. Wright gets it. He backhands it out to the right circle. Grizz will skate towards the far goal line, take a shot, hits the side of the net. Robertson will chip it ahead. Grizzlies cut it off in the right point. Utah's done a good job of puck possession here so far. As Fitz to the right side, skates towards the circle, takes a righty shot, and goes wide. Puck glides towards the near boards and out to center ice and into the Rapid City zone as Utah chases after it. James Shear nudges ahead. It's picked off by Roy Karens. Now the rush. Enter the zone from the left side as they're just outside the circle. Rapid City feeds it across, picked off by Wright. Now the Grizzlies will get to neutralize. They'll cross center from the right wing and dump it in. As chasing after it is Ryan Zulsdorf, who's got three goals and 13 assists in, 20, in 32 games. He'll skate down the middle. Now he feeds it to the far side. Rapid City will dump it in as Metcalf wants icing, and the linesmen agree. Icing on the rush with 16-17 left. As Dylan Fitz, here's the details of the goal according to the box score. Dylan Fitz scored 550, and it was a power play goal. Victor Bartley and Dakota Raby with the assist. And it was very late, only seven seconds left on the power play when Fitz scored. It's Fitz's fourth of the year. Bartley gets his sixth assist, and Raby is 13th assist of the season. As the Grizzlies special teams have contributed to all three goals here so far in the series against Rapid City. As the rush will win the face off in their own zone, they'll skate into the offensive end. Now Utah pokes it away. Grizz cross center. Martel enters the zone, but Utah already had a guy there in McCallchuck as the whistle blows with 12.01 left in the first period. Time out of the ice, still in fits with a power play goal. Utah leads 1 0. And you're listening to the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Presented by Rio Tinto. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Utah scored three goals in this series, all of them on the power play. Dylan Fitz, 550 in from the right wing, gives Utah one nothing lead. There's 12 minutes even left in the first period as Rapid City wins the faceoff as they'll throw it out off the far boards. It goes to center ice now into the Grizzly zone where Victor Bartley gets it. Bartley gets pushed into the corner by Logan Nelson, who last season was Rapid City's leading scorer. As Calder Brooks over there as well, battling with Penner. Puck sports towards the left point. Now it's the right side, Iverson with a shot. Saved by Metcalf. Rebound goes to Utah. Grizz will fly across center ice. Skating towards the right the left side as Dakota Raby takes a lefty shot. Saved by Chechilev. And he holds on as he freezes the puck with 11.34 left in the first. But boy, the Grizzlies are off and running here tonight. Dakota Raby utilizing his speed. And if you're a Grizzlies fan, you have to like the puck possession in the first eight and a half minutes of play. Grizzlies are really firing in all cylinders. It looks like they're, they're buzzing here so far in the first half of the first period. As Nuggets celebrating his birthday, looks like he's going to give a pizza to a fan as the draw is going to be in the Rapid City zone. As the Grizzlies were talking about shots at Rapid City, uh, you know, took 41 last night. They only have two here so far. Tyler Penner will take the draw against Nikolaev. It looks like everybody's looking towards the scores table right now as referee probably checking some things out off the screen. 
Make sure to follow the Grizzlies on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I'm on Twitter at Tyson on Sports. And we're trying to encourage Guy Carenza to get on uh, get on those social media outlets as well as Grisby is bang, bang in the near glass. Looks like they're working on some ice along the near boards. And um, so they're repairing that and looks like they're now ready to go as the Grizzlies wearing the black jerseys with professional green numbers and white lettering and white trim as Penner will take the draw against Nikolaev. Second of a three-game series. Grizzlies lost 5-2 to two last night. Both of the goals last night were on the power play, and the one here so far is a man advantage goal. Rapid City wins the faceoff. They'll lift it out to center ice. It bounces in the Grizzlies zone. Now the Grizzlies will get it back as action's still in the Grizzlies zone, and it's along the near boards. Grizzlies have it as Utah will enter the offensive zone. They skate towards a corner as Pfizer gets knocked down. Coda gets hit by Penner in the near corner as action glides towards the far side as... Puck ends up back to the slot. Grizzlies with a shot saved by Chechilev, and the rebound goes out towards a far corner. Grizzlies have it up top, but the puck exits the zone. Grizzlies will have to reset. They've taken seven shots on Chechilev as Grizzlies dump it in. Rapsy chases after it, and they feed it ahead. Oh, it hits in the slot. Grizzlies with a shot that goes wide. That's taken by right as Grizzlies in the right side, feed it up top to Sheer. He takes a lefty shot that goes wide as it ricochets off the end wall. Grizzlies get it up top for Thomas. Corey wearing number three. He'll get to the slot right with a shot saved by Chechilev. He holds on. Dylan Fitz was net front battling with Nikolaev as Utah is up to eight shots to Rapid City's two. There's 10.28 left in the first, and I apologize if you're listening on YouTube as we had a really bad camera angle there for about 40 seconds. It was tough to describe what was happening. <laughs> draw is going to be in the Rapid City zone as we mentioned it far too many times but they keep showing Grisby here on Flow Sports as he is there and he's representing the Grizzlies over at the Monument Jamison will take the face off he had a goal last night he has six on the season Wright is out there along with Fitz Fitz scored 550 into the contest here as Grizzlies win the draw throw with a lefty shot glove saved by Chechlev he holds on Dylan Fitz was net front battling with Carter Robertson Robertson's got good size at 6'3 and 200 pounds. But the Grizzlies, once again, doing a good job on the faceoff circle. And it looks like they're really being the aggressor here tonight. As Jamison will take the draw right in the left wing, having some words with Jamison. Matt Marshall takes the draw for Rapid City. Marshall leads Rapid City with 15 goals this season. Draw one by the Grizzlies, though, with a lefty shot. And it goes wide as he tried to go low on Chechilev. Thomas feeds it to the corner. It goes past Jamison and glides along towards the far wing as leader fanned on it as he tried to clear it out. Fitz feeds the middle, picked off by Robertson. Now it goes to the left side. Cameron Wright dishes it across. Rapid City picks it off as the rush. Carried out to neutralize as Karens will throw it towards the middle. Now back to Karens on the right side. He feeds it back towards the middle, but the pass was behind him. Rapid City keeps it in the zone as Karens throws it behind, between his legs. Robertson with a shot that goes wide. Grizzlies will nudge it ahead. Fitz battling along the wall as it kicks towards the end wall. Grizzlies have it as they skate around Metcalf's net. As a ricochet towards the near wall. It's taken by Cameron Wright. We'll dish it across. Grizzlies cross center. Utah doesn't have numbers. Rapid City back defensively. Utah dumps it in and makes a line change. Nine and a half minutes left in the first. Utah leads 1-0. The Grizz have outshot Rapid City 9-3. As leader will feed it to the far side. Outlet pass ricochets off the near boards. Garrett Klotz chasing after it. But icing is called as Connor McDonald Gets over there as the draw will come back towards Daniil Chechilev, who's really been busy here so far tonight, stopping eight of nine. But Chechilev, as we mentioned, leads the league in wins with 15, also leads the league in minutes played and saves. 712 saves coming into play tonight, and his backup is Adam Carlson. Penner will take the face off against Zach Court. Draw on the far circle, and it's won by Utah as it goes to McDonald. He'll take a shot that goes wide. Goes back towards Pfizer. He feeds it up top. Bartley with a shot, and that one misses wide as the puck ricochets off the far boards. Lucas Fuqua will ice the puck. Grizzly skate over there, and icing is called as the arm is raised by the linesman. Good effort by Tyler Penner skating over there, getting the icing called. But how about Garrett Klotz, who looks like he can still move around? Now it was actually Victor Bartley who skated over there, the two 34-year-olds. As Garrett Klotz, remember, played for the Grizzlies back in the 2019-2020 season, the year that was 
uh, prematurely ended due to COVID. Draw one by Rapid City as Keegan Iverson will bounce it off the far boards. Grizzlies keep it in. Raby feeds the middle. Rapid City picks it off. Now Pfizer towards the far goal line. Try to dish it across. It ricochets to Klotz in the near side. Klotz will get it across. It hits off of Iverson's stick and rolls along the far boards as Lucas Fuke will nudge it ahead towards that quote, quote, court. Now Pfizer in the area. Court as well. As Court's got pretty good size, he plays hard. Grizzlies have a tap off Rapid City, and it goes to center ice, where it's retaken by Shearer. Eight and a half minutes left in the first period. Shearer will whip it around the boards. It goes to the right side as Utah leads 1-0. Grizz in the right corner. As it can go back to Pfizer, Pfizer gets pushed towards the right point. They'll feed it around the wall. Utah along the goal line. Centering pass. Shot saved by Chechilev. As Penner tried to find Raby out in front, Rapid City clears it out. And skating over Shearer, but Metcalf will race over to the far corner to cut off the puck as he'll get it to Shearer, who's behind Utah's net. Grizzlies have outshot Rapid City 10-3 to as Shearer still behind Utah's net. Eight minutes and counting left in the first. Shearer feeds it to the far side. Grizzlies' Victor Bartley will nudge it off the far boards. It's taken away by Rapid City. Now ahead, Utah gets it back. Grizz skate down the middle. Cam Strong will take a backhand shot saved by Chechilev. As now Bartley on the right side, he'll skate towards a point. He'll feed it across to McDonald. Connor has a glance off his stick, but he regathers it. He'll throw it ahead. Fitz will have it go back towards the blue line and dump it to the near corner. As McCallchuk gets hit, now it goes back to Martell, who's around the net. Martell to the right side as he'll skate towards the point. Now around to McCallchuk, who's behind Rapid City's net. McCallchuk will skate towards the far goal line, near goal line, and he'll try to chip it in front. It hits off a Rapid City pad and goes out to center ice. Grizzlies regather it as Bartley gets it across the captain McDonald. Back to Bartley, who skates down the middle. Now throw a blue line to blue line pass. That ricochets off Rapid City. McCallchuk skates towards the end wall to get it. He gets divorced in the puck as he got hit by leader. As Rapid City will lift it in the air. It's picked off at center ice by Cameron Wright. Now Utah gets it back as Aaron Tho will dish it ahead. Grizzlies now at neutral ice. They feed a right wing pass that was wide of the mark. Utah chasing him out to negate the icing, but Icing is called with 6.53 left in the first. Grizzlies lead 1-0. They've outshot the rush 11-3. And I got to say that they have to be impressed by the puck possession of the Grizzlies here early on tonight. Seems like for the majority of the period, action has been in the Rapid City end of the ice. Jamison will take the draw against Nikolaev. Cameron Wright seeing a lot of ice time here in the first period. Dylan Fitz working on that line as well. As Fitz has played pretty well for the Grizzlies as of late. And the draw won by Rapid City. They're in the offensive zone. As Robertson throws to the left circle, rush with a shot and they score. And it looks like Max Coda gets his fifth of the year as he scored from the left circle just outside the dot. As a rush on their fourth shot of the night. Get one pass, Garrett Metcalf, as Coda high fives everybody on the rush bench. And they have tied it up. The draw in the far circle that was won by Rapid City as the rush worked it around to Coda and he just fired it over the glove of Garrett Metcalf. It didn't look like it had a lot of steam to it, but just had that perfect accuracy and almost looked like a little bit of a changeup that was thrown on Garrett and kind of threw him off. So we're tied at one. Face off goes between the Grizzlies defensemen. Metcalf ricochets it off the far boards. Now the rush with a shot saved by Metcalf. Grizzlies have it as they cross center ice. They feed a left wing pass to Raby. Raby will skate towards the corner. He falls down, but Raby trying to get back to his feet as Robertson takes the puck as he'll skate towards his goaltender. Now ahead, Rapid City enters the zone to the left side as a rush. Get it back to Coda in the left circle. He tried to feed it to Nikolaev. Now left side, Coda with a shot saved by Metcalf, and a stick goes flying towards the circle. 617 left in the first. We're tied at one as Max Coda picked up his fifth of the year. We're back in 30 seconds on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps.
one six seventeen left in the first period as Dylan Fitz scored five fifty into the contest. Rapid City tied it up as Max Cota got his fifth of the year thirteen thirteen and Carter Robertson with the assist. As the draw won by the Grizzlies, they're in their own zone as they'll carry it out as Victor Bartley crosses center. He'll feed it to the left side for Raby. Raby in the left circle, but the whistle blows as it looks like the Grizzlies are offside. And it's a shame because the Grizzlies would have had a really good grade-A chance there had uh, the play gone on. It's interesting to kind of see the line combination switch a little bit. As it looks like Dylan Fitz has been working a little bit with Taron Pfizer and Cameron Wright. And it looks like um, Johnny Martell or Jordan Martell. I have no clue who Johnny Martell is, but he is somebody. And Nikolai, um, he's been working a lot with the McCallchuck here so far tonight. Neutral zone draws won by Rapid City as Keegan Iverson will get to the near side for Keanu Yamamoto. He'll get it across. Karen's in the area. Roy Karen's gets it. He'll throw it back to Iverson. Iverson back to Karen's, who moves it ahead off the near boards. But it's taken back by Utah's Tyler Penner. We'll throw it back into the Grizzly zone for Bartley, who gets it across to McDonald. Rink wide pass to Raby. Dakota steps over the blue line as he's along the far near wall. He'll get it to Pfizer behind the net. Pfizer nudges it to the far side. It's taken by Karen's as both teams spread the ice. Rapid City with an outlet pass to neutralize as they'll get it ahead. Yamamoto gets around Bartley, but good poke check by McDonald as it goes ahead. Grizzlies at neutralize. Penner. We'll get it towards center ice, but Rapid City takes it away. The whistle blows as action was near the Grizzlies bench. Looks like a hand pass. 5.20 left in the first period. As there's a timeout on the ice, we'll talk with Guy Karenz and get his thoughts here on what he has seen so far. As Guy, the Grizzlies really dominated the puck possession. Rapid City just off a draw was able to get Coda an open look on the left side. Kind of a change up there. It didn't look like he got a ton of steam on it, but somehow was able to get it back past Metcalf. But what's been your observation so far? Yeah, Tyson, it's unfortunate that this game is tied because I feel like the Grizzlies have played really, really well to start this period. They came out with a lot of energy and they got a goal out of it and they just played really, really well. But unfortunately on that goal, I think the, the defender in front of Metcalf just ended up accidentally screening him on that shot off yeah. the draw. And I, I don't think Garrett saw that one. So... It uh, just goes to show that uh, one shot can make the difference, and that, that's it so far. Just Rapid City doesn't have a lot of them. I think that the Grizzlies getting two power plays early on really helped in them getting puck possession early. Oh, Tyson, for sure. And in the pregame, you talked about special teams playing a big role. But we see it here again. The Grizzlies get a power play goal, and they dominated the special teams game last night. If they can do it again here, I like their chances of winning this game. We'll talk with Guy during the intermission as there's 5.20 left in the first period. Grizzlies tied up 1-1. As Christian Simeone on the ice, he's in the left wing, taking the draws. Cam Strong, as Jordan Martell is out there as well. Draw one by Rapid City as Colton Leader crosses center ice right wing. Now he gains the offensive line. Right wing shot saved by Metcalf as Garrett holds on. 5-14 left in the first. Leader this season has one goal and four assists in 16 games. He's normally a forward, but he did play a defensive role, it seemed like at times, back over in Europe a couple years ago. As Grizzlies make a line changes, it's interesting. And, uh, you know, as I was mentioning it with Guy, you know, getting those two power plays early on certainly helped with the Grizzlies establishing that puck possession early in the game. And that led to the Dylan Fitz school 550 in. Logan Nelson will take the draw, but it's Utah that wins it as Grizz will nudge it ahead as it goes to neutralize. Utah will dump it in, looking to negate the icing, and it is as. Cameron Wright gets in front of Colton Leader. Dylan Fitz over there as well as he gets held up by Wickers. As Chechilev looks over his right shoulder, that's where the puck is. Puck squirts towards the right circle on the far side as Utah in the corner looks to center it. Ah, the pass was wide to Fitz as it goes to Rapid City as Logan Nelson will get it across. Puck glanced off the stick and goes back to center ice as Rapid City with it. Nelson to the right side will skate into the right circles. He gets back checked by Wright. Nelson with a sharp angled shot that goes wise. The puck glides along the far boards. Rapid City gets it at center ice as Robertson over to Zulsdorf. He'll dump it in. Metcalf to the side of his net. will give it over to Shearer behind Utah's net as the Grizzlies skate from right to left here in the first period. Shearer will give it to Bartley as Shearer comes off at the end of his shift as Victor Bartley behind his net. Four and a half minutes or 4.15 left in the first as Bartley will feed it to the far side. Pfizer ahead towards uh, Penner. Glanced off his stick. Puck bounces back into the Rapid City territory. Bartley will nudge it ahead and couldn't tell if it hit a stick or not as it rolls deep in the Rapid City zone as Robertson avoids a check of Penner in the corner. Penner continues to battle as Penner goes down from Robertson as Rapid City will move it ahead as a rush to neutralize. Gets to center as Lucas Fuke dumps it in. McDonald to the 
near corner, avoids a check at Klotz, and that's probably good considering Klotz's size. Rush dump it back in. Metcalf behind his net gets it to McDonald. About three and a half minutes left in the first. We're tied at one. Utah will move it ahead. Zach Court in the area with Bartley. So Rapid City will feed the far corner. McDonald gets to the left point, but Rapid City kept it in as the rush. In the offensive zone, Garrett Klotz will drop it off for the left side as the rush. Get it back towards the far corner as Fuke in the area goes to Klotz, who throws a backhand pass out to the left point. Lefty shot gets blocked. Rush in the right side. Throw it up top for Iverson. Now around the boards as Klotz will chase towards the far side. Klotz moves pretty well for his size. Utah gets it. They get over to McDonald behind Metcalf's net. He'll chip it off the near boards. Martel will lift it over Iverson's head. It bounces at center ice. Quinn Wickers gets in his own zone. Oh, he lost the puck as it glided towards che- uh, Chechilev. As Wickers gets it back, he gets hit in the near corner. As Rapid City, with less than three minutes left in the first period, will move it to center ice. Rush will carry it across the center ice logo. Now they skate over the line. Rush will dump it in at the end of a shift as Utah chases it down. Though, tries to feed it across to make that Bartley right side as skating around the net and losing the puck is Gravel. Now behind the net, Utah still battling as though with Coda and the rush will glide it towards the far boards as Olsdorf gets it. He gets it to the corner for Gravel. Gravel wearing number 23, second year with the rush. He gets up top for Zolsdorf. He'll take a lefty shot that's blocked. And it goes to Utah on the near side. Grizzlies will backhand it out to the right point. Battle at the line. Uh, the Utah line. Leader dumps it back in. Metcalf cuts it off. Garrett, the stop five of six so far. He gets it to the near side for Thomas. He'll throw up behind Utah's net as the Grizzlies get it with Aaron Tho. Back to Thomas in the near side. He'll move it to neutral ice. The Grizzlies cross center and dump it in. As looked like Jamison's pursuit was cut off by the linesman of all people. As Rapid City to the right point gets taken away. Grizzlies in the offensive end. As Dylan Pitts toe drag, I tried to move it to the right out in front of the net. Rush pick it off. Nelson holds the line and dumps it off the end wall as right. Gets hit. Jamison over there as well as Utah doing a good job with the 50-50 battles. Utah moves to the right side. Righty shot. Glove save by Chechlev. And I think that was McDonald that took the shot. Chechlev had to make a glove save and hold on. 133 left in the first. We're tied at one as Grizzlies. They want to get a victory tonight. They're going to have to find a way to win those battles along the boards. It looks like they're holding their own in that department here tonight. Draw is going to be in the right circle. Marshno, who might be one of Rapid City, might be their their best score. He certainly has been to start the season. Jamison will take it for Utah. As Fitz over there along with Wright, as Rapid City wins the draw, Yamamoto will carry it across center ice. Three on three, rush step over the blue line, but they're offside as Yamamoto got challenged as he was entering the zone, and that messed up the timing of the play. Good job by Andrew Nilsson holding the blue line and forcing Yamamoto to be patient with it, and that did that did just enough to create the offside. That's one of the things with Andrew Nilsson. You can see the experience play in factors like that, knowing what's the knowing the situation, knowing being at that at that defensive blue line, and just finding a way to you know force your opposition to hold it up for a second. And it's just that timing that forces an offside call as opposed to the rush carrying the puck into the offensive zone. As the draw won by Utah, as Victor Bartley has it, they'll move it ahead to neutralize. The Grizzlies will dish it ahead. Grizzlies to the right side in the offensive zone as they get hit in the right side. Grizzlies have it nudged to the corner. Rapid City gets the puck back as they'll feed it across to Aliardi. It kicked off his skate and goes into the Grizzlies zone. As Bartley chases after it, he gets over to Pfizer. Oh, Bartley's played a ton of minutes here tonight. As Pfizer will throw it to the Utah blue line. Now the Grizz get it back to McDonald. As Connor will have a glance off a Nelson stick as it goes to Bartley. He'll throw a blue line to blue line pass as Grizz dump it in. Raby in the near corner gets hit by Robertson. Grizz will move it back up top to Shearer, but the puck exits the zone as Shearer tried to throw it back in, and the whistle blows with 41 seconds left in the first. So both teams make a line change as the Grizzlies were called for offside. As it's been a really interesting first period. The Grizzlies 2-1 to one in the shot count, 12-6, to six, and you think about the puck possession. It's really been a quick-moving game. It seems like the, this is probably the style that Utah wants to play, utilizing their speed. Rapid City is a pretty quick team of their own. They're not necessarily a huge club, but looks like Rapid City does have good speed of their own. An interesting contrast of matchups here between two clubs that normally see each other about 11 to 16 times a year. They will meet 10 times this season, and this is the fourth of 10 meetings. 
Karens will take the draw for Rapid City against Tyler Penner. This time the draw won by Rapid City. Actually, it was Jamison that took the draw as puck ends up deep in the Rapid City zone as the rush will spin it along the near wall, and it goes to neutralize where Utah gets it back as Fitz will throw it back to Nelson. Outlet pass connects. Utah to the right side as looks like Rapid City lost a stick. Zolzdorf from the far side, and in the corner, Utah takes it away. Grizz around the Rapid City net to the left side as they try to move it over towards Shearer. It gets taken away. Rapid City crosses center as Yamamoto will get to Karens. Karens trying to get it back to Yamamoto. It hits off a of Grizzly and goes to the near corner. Now up top as Rush with a righty shot saved by Metcalf, and that will do it for the first period as Dylan Fitz scored 550 in. It was a power play goal, and then Rapid City's Max Coda, a little more than halfway past the first period, tied up the game with his fifth of the season. We'll recap all the statistics of the first period, and we'll also talk with Guy Carenza, as well as go over some scores from around the world of sports. We're through 20 minutes over at the Monument, and we're tied at one on the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. First intermission over at the Monument, and we're tied at one. And really what's been an interesting, fast-moving type of game. Grizzlies got on the board first 550 in as Dylan Fitz... Score from the right wing with seven seconds left in a power play. Victor Bartley and Dakota Raby got the assist, and that was when Logan Nelson got a delay of game penalty, 357 in, and the Grizzlies capitalized on that. Utah's one for two on the power play, and Rapid City has yet to go on the power play. It was a well-disciplined first period for the Grizzlies. Utah outshot Rapid City 12-6. to six. Cameron Wright had three shots. Wright does lead the Grizzlies in shots on goal this season as Wright came into play with 98 shots, and now he has 101 on the season. That leads all league rookies. Pfizer, Fitz, Raby, and Tho each had two shots in the first period, and then one shot for Jordan Martell. Jordan, don't call me Johnny Martell, wearing number 27. As for Rapid City, six shots on goal. Colton Leader led the way with two, and then one shot each for Coda. His found the back of the net. Marshno, Gravel, and Carter Robertson. Garrett Metcalf in his first game since December 3rd for the Grizzlies. He played in five AHL games of the San Diego Ghouls. He stopped five of six. Daniil Chechilev stopped 11 of 12. So it's interesting to see the Grizzlies win that special teams battle in the first period. After all, they didn't commit a penalty. They played a pretty disciplined first period and they were able to get a power play goal and I kind of think that because of the two power plays the Grizzlies had early in the game that that really established 
puck possession as the Grizzlies at one point had an 11 to 3 edge on the shot count in the first period. We'll get to Guy Carenza here in a couple minutes, but let's go over some other scores in the league. Second intermission, Wichita leads Idaho 2-1 to one as the Steelheads are on a 12-game winning streak. Wichita is in second place in the Mountain Division with a 11 uh, or an 18-11-2 and two record. As Wichita has got a 6-13 winning percentage, they have 38 standings points, and the Thunder in the second game of a three-game series leads Idaho 2-1. to one. Also after two periods, Allen leads Kansas City 2-0. The Americans are in last place in the Mountain Division with a record of 10-17-1. Kansas City right now is in fourth place in the Mountain Division with 30 standings points and a 536 winning percentage. Second intermission, Indy leads Iowa 3-2. How about the start of the year for the Fuel? As Indy is 21-8-1 this season, Iowa has a record of 6-14-7-1. So Iowa's been in a lot of games. They've lost eight games past regulation this year. But this they got a close one over at Extreme Arena. Indy leads Iowa 3-2. to two. One minute left in the third period. And smoke them if you got them over at Huntington Center as they got a barn burner as Toledo leads Kalamazoo 4-3. to three. And Currently in overtime, Adirondack and Maine are tied at four. And so that's an interesting one as well. A lot of close games in the league tonight. Games have gone final. Wheeling defeats Fort Wayne 4-2. to two. Reading over Worcester 5-4. South Carolina shuts out Atlanta 4-0. Florida defeats Orlando 5-2. It was also a 5-2 score as Greenville defeats Jacksonville. And Trois-Rivières defeats Newfoundland 5-3 in a battle of the two teams from Canada. Well, we're, we got Guy Krenza here. We're hanging out here at the lobby of Maverick Center. And Guy, you know, the Grizzlies were able to get a couple power plays early on and really establish a lot of putt possession. And I think if I remember right, the shot count at one point was 11 to three. Yeah, Tyson, it was a really, really well-played period by the Grizzlies. And I, I just love the way that they came out and played that. Uh, I think that there was a clear message from coach Ryan Knast, which that the Grizzlies needed to come out and they needed to establish uh, a dominance on offense and get puck possession. And that's exactly what they did. I really thought this is the best, uh, start to a game that we've seen from the Grizzlies in the season. One of, if not the best, uh, they came out and they dominated with puck possession and the shot count reflects that. I mean, you mentioned 11 to three at one point. Now we're here at the end of the period, 12 to six, but you think about a Grizzlies team that doesn't really take a lot of shots uh, throughout the course of the season and a rush team that seems to be a leader in shots throughout the season for the Grizzlies to end the period, uh, double on the shots on the rush. That's just fantastic. On rapid city's goal it was right off a face off. And then Robertson got it to Coda he was in the left circle, but he was more on the edge with the, um, you know, with kind of the the line of the circle just behind his skates, and he just fired a shot. And as you mentioned, uh, Metcalf might not have seen it because it didn't look like Coda got a ton on a shot. It looked like a routine um, type of shot that Garrett always, you know, gobbles up, but um, that one just ha- happened to squirt through. Yeah, Tyson, that was just one of those bang bang plays. I mean, the rush win the draw. Uh, there's a little bit of puck movement. They get it back down to the top of the circle, and the defense kind of shifts. And uh, as we see that, a skater, one of our skaters, a defender, uh, goes in front of Metcalf as as that shot is being taken. And I, unfortunately, I don't think Garrett saw it, so I don't think that one's on Garrett at all. It's just just one of those things where they drew it up and they executed the play well, and the rush got a lucky one there. But, I mean, you think about the Grizzlies dominating this period uh, it's really quite unfortunate that the game is yeah. tied because the Grizzlies, as as we talked about before, really dominated offensively in that period. Yeah, it really is a shame that it is tied because I thought the effort in that first period was outstanding. You know, the puck possession, especially in the first half of the period, really was to the Grizzlies' advantage. And it seemed like the Grizzlies' defensive unit really tightened up as Rapid City really had a tough time getting to the offensive line. I thought Nilsson, on one occasion, as I mentioned, late in the first period, did a good job protecting that blue line and forcing an offside play, just kind of messing the timing up as Yamamoto was trying to skate in. And uh, I think defensively, you know, we saw a lot of Victor Bartley and Connor McDonald out there. Aaron Tho had two shots. He played a pretty good period. And I think Corey Thomas is really settling in, and he's played well over the last handful of games. Yeah, Tyson. And I love the way that the Grizzlies – especially Andrew Nielsen and guys like Corey Thomas are able to use their size to kind of muscle out forwards. As you mentioned, Andrew Nielsen made a really great play at the blue line where he just kind of muscled out the forward and forced him off sides. Really, you mentioned before as the play was happening, they kind of just jolted off the rhythm for the rush and caught him off sides. So a great defensive play. Really solid first period by the Grizzlies defensive core. And last night, Rapid City was able to get a few odd man rushes, maybe get behind the Grizzlies defense 
on a couple of occasions and really in this first period a very disciplined uh, first 20 minutes for that Grizzlies blue line. Yeah, Tyson, and I think that was the message from Coach Kanasiewicz is, hey, we gave up too many odd man rushes in the last game. That can't happen. And we didn't really see any of that from the rush in this game so far. So the Grizzlies got the message and they executed it well. What do you think we'll see here in the second period is obviously – I think whoever's going to have that lead after two is going to have a, a good opportunity to win this game. I mean, usually it seem, you seem like across the league, you see that stat of the record when leading after two periods, and it seems like everybody's got an outstanding record when leading after two. Um, so, you know, what do the Grizzlies need to do here in the second period in order to find a way to take a lead? Well, Tyson, I think it's critical that, once again, the Grizzlies come out and they come out with a lot of energy. Uh, I think it's important that they come out and – they establish puck possession, establish a good forecheck, and uh, keep things going in their direction. Right now, they've got a lot of momentum to build off. I mean, like I we mentioned before, the Grizzlies are doubled on the shots on the rush. Uh, I think if the Grizzlies can get that next one, I think that would be huge for them heading into the, the remainder of this game. When we come back in two minutes, we'll talk some more hockey as we're tied at one on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life. I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Now the Grizzlies with a power play goal. Believe it or not, the last four goals the Grizzlies have scored have been on the power play. In fact, the last time the Grizzlies had a five-on-five goal was John is uh, Jordan Martell, 6.33 into the third period on December 28th. And so, Guy, the Grizzlies have been really doing a good job on the power play, and really they got off to a slow start about the first six games of the season, and then they had that breakthrough game where Nilsson had the six assists, and the Grizzlies scored five times in the power play. But you think about – one for two tonight, and you think over the last 23 games, this being like game 24 of a stretch where the Grizzlies are 26 for 108 on the power play. So, you know, you're, you're talking about um, close to 25% over the last 24 games after a rough start, and that's pretty close to the league lead. And I think it's interesting to kind of see the Grizzlies move the puck on the power play. It seems like they're very organized, and they end up finding the open guy. And, you know, I think that that, Really is reason for optimism for the Grizzlies the rest of this weekend is it looks like the power play has done a great job against Rapid City. Oh, Tyson, for sure. I mean, the special teams game for the Grizzlies, I mean, the power play and the penalty kill included uh, have been fantastic over these last couple games, this last stretch. And I think that's really, as you mentioned before, something to really build upon throughout the rest of the season because once the Grizzlies are able to score five on five, they could be a very dangerous team down the stretch. You know, as I mentioned, even though the Grizzlies have lost six in a row, you think about all the games – they're going to be at home in the second half of the season. And we haven't mentioned it. Uh, I probably should make a mention of it, but the Grizzlies are battling some injuries. You know, Zach Sekos is going to be missing his third straight game tonight. Uh, Johnny Walker is missing his seventh straight. Grizzlies have been without Bryson Martin for the last nine games. You know, and Grizzlies are also without Cole Tarchi and Jordan Stone. And I think that, you know, you're talking about a guy like Sekos. He's outstanding on the face-off circle. He's a plus three this season. Really, just he just does so many things. And there is those intangibles that Johnny Walker brings to the table. Uh, you know, he does it on the power play, gets in front of the net, and he really makes things happen. And so I think the Grizzlies have missed Walker as of late. Yeah, Tyson, there's doubt, no doubt about it. Uh, Johnny Walker is one of those heart and soul guys of this team. He brings a lot of energy to his game. And uh, it, it's tough. You know, those are guys that you'd like to have in your lineup. Those are guys that uh, bring a lot of skill to this team. And it's just one of those times where it's got to be a next man up mentality. Uh, you know, the league doesn't stop for anybody. So uh, Grizzlies have just got to find a way for those guys to step up, those role players. And those guys where I look uh, at, at Taron Pfizer, Cameron Wright, uh, Jordan, don't call me Johnny Martell. <laughs> uh, those are guys that when, when, when a name is called, need to step up. And so far we've seen that from Wright and Pfizer and those guys that I mentioned before. 
Uh, it's just can the whole team come together and really gel when these guys are absent? For the Grizzlies, Johnny Walker is their leading goal scorer this season with nine. Taron Pfizer and Zach Sekos each have eight goals this season. That's among current Grizzlies. But you think about Rapid City, they've already got six guys that have 10 or more goals. And so uh, for the Rush, you know, they average 3.4 goals per game. And so I think for the Grizzlies here, if they want to come out on top. Uh, they're probably going to need another two or three goals to win. Yeah, Tyson, I agree with that. And uh, I think the key right now is for the Giz- for the Grizzlies to score five on five. That's something that you mentioned before is we, we haven't seen that in a while. So uh, Jordan got Martel got the last one uh, when it was a five on five goal. I, I look for him to be maybe that spark guy that gets the next one. So uh, that'll be something to watch for in the second period. Could be as well. I also got a feeling Cameron Wright's going to have a good second period. And when we come back in two minutes, we'll have second period action. Over from the Monument, as we're tied at one, Utah outshot Rapid City 12-6 to in the first period. Dylan Fitz scored 550 into the contest, and then Max Coda tied it up as he scored 13-13 in with Robertson and Brett Gravel getting the assist. On the Fitz goal, it was Bartley and Raby picking up the assist. Raby now has 13 assists on the season, and Bartley has six helpers. This is Utah Grizzlies hockey as it's been the Sickford and Jensen intermission report on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. Now we're about set to start second period action as we're tied at one. Grizzlies and the rush. It was good to see Dylan Fitz get on the scoreboard for Utah as Fitz... Now as a point in eight of his last 17 games, as Dakota Raby with an assist, he now has a point in 11 of his last 17. Raby's got four multiple point games this season, and we'll see if he ends up getting back on the score sheet for the Grizzlies. And it's good to see Victor Bartley back on the stat sheet for the Grizzlies. Cameron Wright had three shots on goal for Utah. He leads all league rookies with 101. He also leads the Grizzlies with 101 shots. And, be interested to see what Taron Pfizer is able to do. He was a plus two and four games for the Grizzlies in December as he also spent some time in the AHL with the Colorado Eagles. Looks like a good crowd, a partial sellout over at the Monument. Grisby is in attendance. We've seen Grisby on this Flow Sports feed. Seems like the entire game <laughs> as Grisby actually took some pictures with some Rapid City fans. I imagine there's a couple of Grizzlies fans that made the trip over to the Black Kills as well. Utah will be skating from left to right as we see it on Flow Sports. Your mind's eye see it on YouTube as Tyler Penner will take the drop. He's got Taron Pfizer to his 
right, and Dakota Raby to his left. Victor Bartley and Connor McDonald, the two defensemen. Utah wins the draw as Bartley will nudge it ahead to Raby. Raby back towards Penner, who gets it ahead to Pfizer. Pfizer in the offensive zone gets the bouncing puck in the left side. He'll nudge it to the corner. Pfizer collides with Wickers along the end wall as Pfizer skates towards the corner on the far side as he's double teamed now Pfizer being shadowed by Wickers tried to nudge to the corner for Raby Rap City picks it off and they clear it into the Grizzly zone where McDonald chases it in the slot he'll throw up back to the right wing it goes past Tyler Penner all the way around the wall no icing as Rap City will nudge it ahead to Nikolaev he'll dish it off the far wing boards as Rap City will get it ahead behind the defense is Brett Gravel take a back end shot what a save by Metcalf puck still employed as Brett Gravel with a nice backhand shot but Metcalf was able to make the save. Karen centers it. Penner picks it up and will backhand it out. As Gravel somehow got behind the defense, but Metcalf made the save, his biggest of the game. Puck off the near boards. Karen's couldn't get it. Utah will throw it back the other way as Cameron Wright gets into the zone over to the left side. One timer goes wide as Robertson along the far boards. He'll ricochet off the glass. It goes to center ice. Bouncing puck is taken by Utah. As the Grizz will move it ahead. Skating down the middle is Jamison. Now he veers off to the right. Jamison will skate towards the right side. Centering pass. Shot. Saved by Chechilev. Boy, what a stop there as Jamison skated towards the right corner. Centered it to Fitz. Fitz with a shot. And it looked like a great A chance. The centering pass got through. But somehow, Chechilev was able to make the save. 18-41 left in the second. And really the amazing thing, not only he made the save, but he didn't allow a second chance. Fans having a good time over at the Monument. Draw's going to be in the Rapid City zone. Jamison will take it. He's got Fitz to his left and right to his right. That three-man forward unit had a pretty good first period and looks like they're off to a good start here in the second. As Marchino takes the draw for Rapid City. Draw one by Utah as the Grizz get it towards the left side. Bartley with a lefty shot. Saved by Chechilev. Rebound goes to Rapid City. They clear it out. Dylan Fitz will race into the Grizzly zone. He gets the puck. Fitz moves along pretty well. He'll get it start taken away. Karen's right side. Shot goes wide. Puck in the left point. Wickers feeds it to the corner for Karen's. Karen's behind Utah net will dish it across. Now the Grizz get the puck as they lift it over the head of the defenseman. Marshno skates into the rush zone to get it as he gets checked by Wright. Marshno moves it ahead, but taken away by Utah. Wright drops it off, but it goes between the legs of Jamison and towards the near wall as Karens will skate along the near wall, skating from right to left. Now, veer off to the right. He'll feed it ahead. Pass was wide of the mark. Grizzlies will nudge it back to center ice, but deflects out of play into the rush bench with 17.59 left in the second. As Utah is taking each of the first two shots of this second period. As, you know, it was... Rapid City there a couple minutes, about a minute ago, had a breakaway, and I thought that Metcalf had made the save. It appears because they didn't give Gravel a shot that uh, the puck must have just lifted out, of, uh, lifted over Metcalf, and uh, that Gravel missed the net. It's tough sometimes to track shots on these video feeds. As Utah wins the draw, they'll dump it in as Chechilev plays it behind his net. And they'll dish it along the far boards. Grizzlies left point shot, and it goes wide as. It was partially blocked by Robertson. He'll get it ahead to Brooks, who crosses center ice. Brooks will dump it in as it glides along the boards. Thomas will feed it ahead. Grizz. Now a neutral ice, two on two. Grizz make a nice move to the left side. Martel skates the circle. Centering pass, lefty shot, and a, oh, saved by Chechilev. Now rebound, McCall check with a shot, saved by Chechilev. Well, a couple good looks for the Grizzlies there. They had a centering pass go through, and then Chechilev made the save, and then there was some loose change out in front. McCallchuk had a shot, and Chechilev made that save as well. As the whistle blows with 17-22 left in the second, we're tied at one, but the Grizzlies have three shots here to start the second period. Nikolaev talking with Ryan Zolsdorf. Tyler Penner will take the draw for Utah. As Rapid City with a red jersey, and the name Rapid City from left to right horizontally on their jersey. As the draw won by Rapid City, as Iverson will get it ahead, or maybe it's vertical from left to right. <laughs> I'm not sure, as I don't know horizontal from vertical anyways. Nikolaev to the left side, skates towards the circle. He feeds it back to Kota, back to Nikolaev. He looks to center, but it's wide of the mark. Right wing shot goes wide. Don't know who took that. That was off the screen as Zolsdorf skates towards his right. Toe drag, Utah pokes it away to the left point. Nikolaev still in the offensive zone, feeds it back to the corner. Now it goes back to Nikolaev, who fakes a shot, skates towards the goal line, centering pass, glances off a grizzly stick Iverson on the right side as Rapid City gets pushed towards the blue line now the Grizzlies have it hit off a skate and out to center ice Grizz have it 
as Pfizer gains the line. He'll feed it to the left side. Raby with a shot, and that one goes wide. Rebound shot saved by Chechlev. As boy, Nilsson was out in front towards Chechlev's stick side, and somehow the Rapid City goaltender robbed Nilsson and made a glove stop. Boy, Chechlev's been on top of his game as the Grizzlies have had maybe three really good looks, no less than three really good looks out in front of the net, and somehow Chechlev has been able to stop them all. And even after Chechlev robbed Nilsson, Nilsson had to kind of pat Chechlev on the on the arm and say, nice save. Grizz make a line change as Jamison will take it from the right circle. Draw one by Utah over in the corner as Fitz battles. Now the Grizzlies skate along the goal line. Court, co- uh, Court pokes it back to the corner as Robertson flips a high into the air. Grizzlies bat it out. And, and Cork skates back in. Right wing shot saved by Metcalf. That's the first one taken by Rapid City in the second period as the Grizzlies will nudge it ahead as they get out towards center ice. Fitz will lift it in the air as it bounces into the left corner as Penner glides after it. Jamison will then make that Jamison as he battles with Court as right in the area, just outside the left circle. He stops. Now he fires a righty shot, save rebound shot, and somehow the puck doesn't cross the goal line. Now the Grizzlies skate down the middle. They feed it to Fitz. It glances off of his stick, and it goes out to center ice. Grizz will get it across to Jamison. Jamison steps over the line. Now to right in the right wing. He'll take a shot, and it's blocked by Robertson. Wright gets it back, throws it up top for McDonald. Connor back to right. He'll skate down the middle, take a righty shot. And Chechlev. Now the Grizzlies score. Grizzlies score. Cameron Wright gets the sixth of the year as he got a pass. Chechlev. 15-39 15-39 left in the second, and Utah has taken the first six shots, and they've find, found a way to take a 2-1 lead. Boy, everybody kind of hesitated for a second as Wright took the shot as he had all kinds of room, and he ends up putting it away, Chechlev, and so the Grizzlies get back on the board. Might have gotten redirected, but it looked like Cameron Wright took the shot, and we'll see who ends up getting credited with the goal as Utah leads 2-1 with 15-39 left in the second. Draw one by the Grizzlies. John, Jordan Martell skates towards the corner, loses his balance, and loses the puck. Rapid City crosses center ice. They gain the line to the right side. Over centering pass shot, and that goes wide as it was taken from the high slot. Now the rush. Karens will get it across. The leader, righty shot, saved by Metcalf. A lot of action out in front as Keanu Yamamoto collided with James Shearer, but uh, Metcalf made a glove save. 15-18 left in the second period as Utah leads. Two to one. Matt Marshall will take the draw for Rapid City against Tyler Penner. Looks like the goal was credited to Cameron Wright, and now is a goal in back-to-back games. Connor McDonald and Dylan Fitz with the assist. So Fitz with one goal and one assist tonight. As McDonald will nudge it ahead. As Grizz cross center ice, Pfizer skates down the middle, trying to get to Raby in the right circle. Leader cuts it off as he'll skate around the net. As Marshno will dish it ahead, taken by Utah as they run it down to their blue line. Grizz will come back from left to right as it goes back to McDonald deep in the Grizzly zone. He feeds it across to Bartley. Now back to McDonald. Connor moves it into the rush territory. As it rolls along the near wall, Chechlev will feed it back towards the far side as the rush. Trying to clear it out. Raby in the left side, trying to get Pfizer, and wrap, that pass is wide. Rapid City crosses center, three on three. Rush get around to check in the right circle as Rapid City towards the far goal line. They chip it over to the left corner as the rush. We'll move it back behind Utah's net as the rush get it over to the right side. Lefty shot, saved by Metcalf. Rebound glances off face, skate, and goes towards the end wall as Bartley will feed it towards the far lot side. Now Karen's to the right side. Puck skates towards the slot, loses the puck. McDonald will clear it out. Puck didn't have enough steam for icing, so Rapid City will move it ahead to neutralize. Robertson rolls it around the wall as Nelson over to the right side will feed it across off the boards. Aliardi will skate towards his right up top, and he'll feed it to the right corner as it bounces off the boards on one hop. As Nelson skates towards his left, he's in the high slot. He'll dish it over to the right side. Rush will roll it around to Aliardi. who's a patient hockey player, can score from anywhere. He skates to the right side. Now he's in the right point. He gets it poked away. Grizzlies have a potential breakaway. As Grizzlies skate over to the right side. It's Cameron Wright. He takes a shot. Say by Chechilev. And he holds on as Wright was able to poke the puck away from Aliardi, race towards the right circle. He got it and then tried to go five hole on Chechilev, but the Rapid City goaltender holds on. 13.40 left in the second period. Timeout on the ice. We'll take one as well. Cameron Wright gets his sixth of the year, 421 in on the Grizzlies Hockey Network.
you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro Card and upgrade your Adventure Club account. Utah leads 2-1, to one, 13 minutes, 40 seconds left in the second period. Cameron Wright broke the 1-1 one, one tie, 421 into the second. Connor McDonald and Dylan Fitz with the assist, so already a multiple-point game for Fitz with one goal and one assist as the Grizz. As Rapid City actually won the draw, it kind of stayed in the circle for a couple seconds. Fitz looks to center it to Wright. It glances off the stick and flies in the air to the right corner. Wright gets it back as he'll direct it over to the left point. Now Grizzlies will feed it back to the left circle. Now centers it to Fitz. Shot goes wide as Fitz already with a goal tonight. He's played outstanding here so far. Left wing shot saved by Chechelev. Rebound out to the left corner as Coda gets tripped up by Fitz. As Coda skates around the net. Grizzlies trying to touch it up. No call on the play, though, as Gravel skates towards the left wing, crosses center ice. He'll lift it to Coda. Coda already with one goal tonight. He'll take a shot, and he scores. And that's Max Coda, second of the game, as he went stick side on Garrett Metcalf. And just like that, we're tied at two. Right, Max Coda's had an outstanding game tonight as he got behind Utah's defense and skated towards the left circle and fired away. This one was a little bit cl uh, closer towards Metcalf. Then the last goal he scored is Brett Gravel at center ice as they show a replay. Lifted the puck in the air. It was gloved by Coda and immediately dropped. Coda skated towards the right circle. It was a little bit more towards the slot and then fired away as James Shear was trailing the play. And 13.03 is left in the second. Even though Utah is out shot Rapid City 20 to 9, it's anybody's hockey game. As the Grizz win the draw, skating from left to right as we see it on Flow Sports. As McDonald gets over to Martell. Now across Utah, whips into the offense. His own skates towards the left circle. They take a shot. They score! Grizzlies retake the lead. Well, I couldn't quite tell who that was as the Grizzlies have three goals on 21 shots. It's obviously, after each goal, they go to an extreme wide shot. But the Grizzlies really won the faceoff, got back into the offense's zone with plenty of speed, and they end up scoring their third goal of the game. Boy, what a pursuit by the Grizzlies as you talk about an offense that really looks like it's firing all cylinders. They didn't score a five-on-five -five goal for about three games worth of action, and now they've already got two three on three, uh, two five-on-five -five goals here so far in the second period. That goal is scored by Cam Strong. Strong gets his fourth of the year. Christian Simeone with the assist. Now Rapid City comes back the other way. Nikolaev shot saved by Metcalf. As we're back to live action, Grizzlies get it. As Martel crosses center ice, Martel moves into the offensive zone. He skates towards the left circle. Martel now around the net, trying to feather it out in front. It goes to the right point for McDonald. Now across to Bartley, back to McDonald. Right wing takes a righty shot. Glove saved by Chechelev. He holds on as a whistle blows with 12.25 left in the second. So the Grizzlies scored 12 seconds after Rapid City tied it up. Coda got a sixth of the year. Gravel with the assist. Time of that goal, 6.57 in. And then according to the box score, Cam Strong got his fourth of the year. He now has three goals in his last five games. Christian Simeone gets his second assist of the season. So what a crazy first few minutes of this second period we've had. A lot of action. The Grizzlies... Already have taken 10 shots here in the second period to Rapid City's four. Grizzlies win the draw. Right wing Nelson shot saved by Chechelev. And there's a battle out in front of the net. The whistle blows as Nelson took the shot from the right wing after Utah won the faceoff. And Tyler Penner and Carter Robertson were battling in front of the net. Chechelev was able to hold on. The whistle might have been blown prematurely there. As Chechelev gets back to his feet, he's been very active here tonight. And I got to imagine that the message in the locker room from Ryan Kanas, which before the game was be ultra aggressive offensively. As the Grizzlies are making quick decisions with the puck and they're really being very decisive here tonight. And they're really taking it to Rapid City. They're initiating the action. They're not playing back on their heels. Drawing the right circle is won by Rapid City. They're deep in their own zone as Colton Leader back in his own end. He's a dependable two-way forward and is playing defense for the rush. A very dependable player. 
Rush skate into the zone. Right side. They'll chip it off the end boards. Nelson feeds it to Aliardi. Now he gets to the right side. Righty shot gets blocked by Shearer as Nelson in the corner battling with Calder Brooks. Now he moves it ahead as Rapid City on the right side regains the puck as they'll throw it across to the left point, but nobody was home. Robertson will chase back to get it a new try. So he'll backpedal into his own zone. Over to Nelson, who gets it ahead as Rapid City will throw the puck across. It bounced over the stick of Aliardi, taken by Leader in the right point. And he'll dump it around the wall as the Grizzlies will chip it ahead. Nelson, or Logan Nelson, gets over to Quinn Wickers in the right point. And gets it to the corner. Aliardi back towards Wickers, but Utah takes it away. Pizer at neutral ice, cross the center. He'll get it ahead. Grizz will get it with Raby. Raby on the right side, stops near the boards. He looks to center it. It's picked off by Zach Court. And it moves towards the left point. Utah shot blocked by Robertson. Now it goes back to the left side. Utah with a shot. And they get pushed as they were taking it. So the shot didn't get anywhere. Rapid City gains center ice. Calder Brooks dumps it in. As Utah skates towards the near wall, as Dylan Fitz gathers the puck, he skates towards neutral, eyes cross the center. Now it's right that takes over. He'll feed it to the left side. It goes off the boards. Now right skates towards the left side, chips it towards the middle, and Chechilev is able to hold on to it. As right just kind of lifted the puck in the air from the left side and just kind of bounced onto Chechilev's ankles at about one hop, and he was able to cover it up with 10.55 left here in the second period. Well, Utah had 12 shots in the first period. They've already taken 12 here in the first nine minutes and five seconds of the second period. So Utah, very aggressive offensively. And you could tell, as I mentioned before, they are really dictating the action and really taking it to the rush. Draws giving the left circle. Jamison will take it against Marcineau. And it's won by Rapid City, but now gets poked to right in the slot. He takes a shot. Glove saved by Chechilev. I bounced off his glove, actually, and hit off the protective netting over him. As the Grizzlies, once again, uh, really aggressive offensively. And Cameron Wright, you know, has been one of the mo most aggressive of the offensive players. Draws going to be in the left circle once again. Jamison will take it against Marchino. Zach Carson, the linesman, waiting to drop the puck as he gives instructions to both players. Draw one by Rapid City as Rory Karens to the right side will move it ahead. Now the rush get it back to Karens on the left side as he'll skate over to the circle, take a shot that goes wide. He tried to go glove side on Metcalf. Now right point, righty shot is blocked. Now right circle, lefty shot. Saved by Metcalf. Garrett holds on with 10.34 left in the second as Rapid City will make a line change and they'll have an offensive zone draw. Grizzlies look like they'll change things up as Andrew Nelson will hit the ice. Make sure to go to the Grizzlies team store. Every home game, as it's going to be open one hour before game time, I might buy Guy Carenza something from the Grizzlies team store. I might even buy Kiki something from the team store as well. And uh, make sure to go there, get your friends and family, hats, T-shirts, souvenirs, all kinds of stuff. You can get them game pucks. You can also get them some of those designer pucks as well. A lot of good stuff at the Grizzlies team stores. Rapid City wins the draw. Right circle. They chip it across. More of a pass than a shot. Utah moves it to center ice. They were looking for Raby, but the pass was wide. Now it goes to center ice near the Grizzlies bench. Grizzlies skate back in. Left circle. Finds with a shot. On it goes just wide. Puck lines towards the right side. Now to the corner as it went over the head of Pfizer. Keegan Iverson playing a defensive role, normally a forward. As it uh, goes back towards Zulsdorf. Zulsdorf avoids a check. He played for Indy last season before getting traded to Rapid City mid-year. Rapid City gets hit towards the far side. Now Zulsdorf gets it back right wing. He'll skate over the offensive line, skates towards the circle, centers it to Nikolaev as he veers to the left circle. He gets it poked away by Nelson, but Nikolaev gets it back and it goes to the right circle. Shot saved by Metcalf. That was taken by Brett Gravel, but... Metcalf makes the stop, 9.48 left in the second period. There's a timeout on the ice. It looks like Grisby and Nugget are doing some entertainment on the uh, on the side there in Rapid City, and we're back in 30 seconds as Utah leads 3-2 to two on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. Looks like Grisby and Nugget doing some entertainment. Uh, during the timeout, as Utah leads 3-2, to two. good to see Grisby over in attendance. Looks like he's just got the normal jersey and not the third jersey that the Grizzlies are wearing tonight. As 
We were tied at one heading into the second period. Cameron Wright scored 421 in with McDonald and Fitz getting the assists. Rapid City tied it up as Max Cota got his second of the game, 657 in. Brett Gravel with the assist, and then 12 seconds later, Cam Strong got his fourth of the year as he scored from the left circle, Christian Simeone with the assist, and that was 709 into the second. Utah's outshot Rapid City 24 to 12. Utah's one for two on the power play. Grizz are playing a very disciplined game as Rapid City has yet to go on the power play here in the first half of play. Aliardi will take the face off against Cam Strong as the draw won by Rapid City in the right point. Rush of the righty shot and Metcalf makes the save. Now left circle as Fook takes a shot that goes wide and the rush behind Utah's net. They try to lift it out in front. It's clubbed by the Grizz. As Jordan Martell will skate towards the far side, he gets back checked as another Grizzly takes it, and it's Raby. Raby drops it off as the puck ends up flying in the air somehow and going out of play off the protective netting. 9.26 left in the second as Utah's doubled up on Rapid City on shots here so far tonight. As Utah's trying to end a six-game losing streak while Rapid City has won three of their last four. Calder Brooks talking it over with Roy Karens and Matt Marchino. It's the 33rd game for Rapid City this season. They're 16 and 16. And as we mentioned, they got a lot of offensive firepower on their current roster. They already have six forwards who have scored 10 or more as the rush. Win the draw as Roy Karens in the near side, the 20 year old with an NHL entry level deal, lifts it out to center ice. Grizzlies glove it and drop it. But it looks like a hand pass there as Nilsson tried to move it ahead. And so the whistle blows with 919 left in the second. Same teams tomorrow night, 6.50 pregame show, 7.05 faceoff. As it'll be the third game in three days. You know, will fatigue play a factor tomorrow night? It'll be interesting to see. As the draw at neutral ice is won by the Grizz. They're back in their own zone as Nielsen over to Shearer. James will move it ahead as Pfizer will get it towards Fitz, who dumps it in as it rolls towards Chechlev as he'll play it to the side of the net. He'll bounce it off of Jameson. Now the rush skate around their net with the puck as they'll skate towards the near side as Robertson lifts it high into the air as it bounces in Grizzlies territory. Sure, gets the puck as he'll move it ahead, but Rapid City, actually the puck does go past the rush out to center ice. Utah feeds to the high slot. Rapid City picks it off as Robertson will throw a blue line to blue line pass. It's incomplete for Marshall as Sure throws it back to Nilsson. Andrew will move it out to center ice. It goes past Fitz. And all the way deep into the Rapid City zone. Looks like icing on the Grizzlies with eight minutes and 42 seconds left here in the second. Other action in the league. It looks like Idaho's 12-game winning streak is going to come to an end. As with four minutes left in the third period, Wichita leads Idaho 3-1. to one. In the Mountain Division, Allen leads Kansas City 2-1. to one. That game with three minutes left in the third. Draw is going to be at center ice. Penner wins the faceoff against Court. As Bartley gets it to McDonald, who will ricochet it off the near boards. As Pfizer loses the puck, Quinn Wickers moves it ahead towards Coat. Uh, Court, I don't know why I'm having a tough time saying Court tonight. <laughs> as the rush throw it to the near side, as Garrett Klotz gets checked, but moves it ahead to Court. Court over to, Yama, to Yamamoto, back to Court around Utah's net. He'll feed it to the right point. Now the rush. Solsdorf will take a lefty shot, and it's blocked. As Raby tried to move it ahead to Pfizer at neutralize, it's taken away by Court. Over towards Wickers, who dumps it to the corner on the near side. As Bartley will throw up behind his back to Penner. Tyler will throw it rink wide off the boards near Rapid City's bench to Raby, who tried to dump it in. It's taken away by the rush. As Rapid City will throw it back into their own zone. As the rush will ricochet out towards center. Klotz will drop it off for Yamamoto, who skates towards the corner, stops, reverses back to the right side as the rush. And the right circle takes a shot saved by Metcalf. Now around the net, Nikolaev, who took that last shot, will feed it to the left point for Yamamoto. Will drive it back around the boards. Klotz gets cut off to the right side. Leader in the corner as Klotz will skate towards the net. Now to the right point. Righty shot's blocked as Pfizer will move it ahead. Pfizer gets blasted by Klotz. And no icing as Iverson will chase after it. Iverson, a former third-round pick of the New York Rangers, as he'll get it out to the center ice as it bounces off a Coda stick. And the Grizzlies will guide it across Utah's net to Martel, who gets back checked towards the near boards by Nikolaev. Martel moves it ahead to center ice, but Rapid City will poke it back into their own zone as Colton Leader will chase after it. He gets to the puck before Cam Strong, as now it goes to Iverson behind Rapid City's net. The rush in the red jersey with white numbers will chip it out to center ice. Bouncing puck is taken by Nielsen. 
He'll move it to the right side for Martell. Martell will back it out into the Grizzlies territory as he'll skate around the center ice logo. He'll feed a left wing pass. Grizzlies get it across to McCall. Chuck, right wing. His shot saved by Chechilev as Martell around the net gets tripped up. No cause. Iverson was in the area. Goes to Nikolaev as he'll ricochet off the boards. Rush get it. On hat trick watch is Max Coda. He'll feed it to Gravel on the left side. He'll take a shot. Saved by Metcalf. Garrett holds on. 624 left in the second. And it looks like the forward line that's been successful for Rapid City has involved Brett Gravel and Max Coda. Draw is going to be in the Grizzlies zone as Rapid City up to 14 shots. The Grizzlies have taken 24, and you'd like to see the Grizzlies not only control the shot count, but control the puck possession. It seems like the Grizzlies have really done a good job with that here so far tonight. Jamison will take the draw against Logan Nelson. Nelson has 10 goals and 15 assists in 27 games. Draw one by Utah as Nielsen for Utah will throw it to Shearer. Listen out to center ice. Bouncing puck is taken by Robertson in the rush zone. He'll move it to neutral ice. Now he'll glide it out to Lucas Fuke as Utah takes it away. Dylan Fitz will drive it around the boards as it goes to the left corner. Rapid City gets pushed in the back, but they get the puck as they'll throw it to the right side. Turnover. Fitz will roll it back to the left side. Rush get it back to Fitz, who skated towards the left corner. It glanced off his stick. Rush will spin it back around the near side as Rapid City out towards center. Now into the Grizzly zone. Foot race as Fuke and Shearer collide in the corner as Nelson will skate over there. Grizz have it. They throw it to the left side, picked off by Aliardi. He'll feed the right circle. Righty shot saved by Metcalf as Grizzlies will... Get the puck, and they'll throw it to the right side for right. Right crosses center, two on three. He'll fire a shot towards Chechilev that goes wide off the end wall. Now right behind the net, I try to feed it across, and Rapid City will battle with right in the corner. Now it goes to Fitz, who spins it along the far side. Grizzlies in the right side, skate towards the corner again, and that's Bartley. Bartley centers it to Fitz. Fitz has the puck at his ankles, trying to get a shot up. I tried to move it across to Penner, but Penner was skating towards the net. Rapid City will lift it out into Grizzlies territory. It hits off the of McDonald. Karens gets it. He centers it. Rapid City with a backhand shot and a save by Metcalf. Now the net gets dislodged. What a play by Rapid City who got the pass out in front. And Roy Karens with a creative play. But the shot was saved by Garrett Metcalf, who's made some big stops here in the second period. 5-0-2 left in the second. Utah leads 3-2. We're back in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club again. Two is left in the second period. Utah leads three to two, and it looks like the Steelheads winning streak of 12 games is going to come to an end as Wichita now leads four to one. That game with two minutes left in the third. Looks like Allen is trying to hold on to a two to one lead with 53 seconds left in the third period against Kansas City. For the Grizzlies, they lead three to two as the draw is going to be in the Grizzlies zone. Garrett Metcalf making his first start since December 3rd. And we mentioned the Idaho score because up until tonight, that was the last time that Idaho had lost. As Metcalf stopped 44 of 46 that night, he spent five games in the AHL with the San Diego Goals over the stretch of a month. As a rush gate to the right side after winning the faceoff as they feed the right point, as Colton Leader will spin it along the wall. Leader's played a ton of minutes over the last couple of games. As Wickers gets blasted by Bartley, Grizzlies will nudge it ahead, but it's taken by Utah's Raby will ice the puck. Fitz, uh, Pfizer will skate over there. No icing as Chechlev will play it behind his net, and he'll move it towards the far side. Utah takes it away from Leader. Grizz in the corner get checked. Leader battles. Utah trying to get it over to the slot for Penner. Now it goes to center ice. As Pfizer will move it ahead. Karens picks it off. Karens will feed it to the right side. Bob, but it was over Marshno as the pass was behind him. Pfizer to the right side, steps over the blue line, drops it off for Raby, centers it to, it looked like Penner, and he couldn't quite handle. Actually, it was Corey Thomas cutting, cutting towards the net. 
Right side, Thomas battles, and Karens takes it away from him. Four minutes and counting left in the second period. Karen skates down the middle. He crosses center ice. Now he gains the offensive line three on three. Karen's veers off to the left circle. Take a shot that goes wide. Puck glides towards the far boards. Rapsi tries to throw it to the middle. And Utah pokes it back to center. Robertson will ricochet off the boards. It goes past Keegan Iverson. Grizzlies will lift it in the air. As Raby trying to glove it and drop it. Now it goes back into the rush zone. Rush will chip it back to neutralize. Ahead to Garrett Klotz, who gains the offensive line, but Penner takes it away. Penner will lift it out to center ice, and it's taken back by Rapid City as Yamamoto. As whistle blows, though, as Yamamoto is playing the puck. 328 left in the second. And let's see. It looks like it's just going to be an offside as draw is going to be, I think, at neutral ice. As the referee points to where the faceoff is going to be. As it looks like the draw is going to be towards, uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> it's 3 2. Grizzlies, 328 left in the second. Looks like the faceoff's coming back to center ice. Nikolaev will take the draw for Rapid City. He wears number seven against Cam Strong, who scored a goal 709 into the second. That's the deciding goal right now as Utah leads 3 2. Out to center ice, rush with a shot. Metcalf makes a routine save as the whistle blows with 3.22 left in the second. Draw is going to be in the Grizzlies zone. And you think about the second periods for the Grizzlies, they really have struggled over the last handful of games in the second periods. But the Grizzlies with the 2-1 to one edge so far tonight, but they have been outscored in the second periods, 34-35. to 35. But just a minus one in the goal differential in the second period. Draw is going to be in the far side. Nikolaev staring down Cam Strong. Strong takes the draw, and it's won by Utah. As James Shearer battles with Coda along the wall. As Rapsi trying to get it back towards Coda. Backhand shot saved by Metcalf. Rebound shot saved by Metcalf. Where's the puck? It's towards his ankles, and Garrett is covered up. Boy, Rapid City had a chance there with Coda looking for the hat trick, and Metcalf was able to make the stop and somehow was able to cover it up. It looked like for a second he didn't locate it. But luckily, Garrett was able to hold on to it. And with, with him being a taller goaltender, sometimes you wonder with a little bit more knees and elbows, uh, whether, you know, when the puck is in, at that sort of location, if he's able to locate it or not. But it looked like he was able to find a way to, to climb on top of it. As Draw's going to be in the left circle. Metcalf's played well tonight. He has stopped 16 of 18. Both goals have been scored by Max Cota for Rapid City. As Dylan Fitz has been outstanding with one goal and one assist. And the Grizzlies also have goals from Cam Strong and Cameron Wright. As the draw goes to the right side, Rapid City wins it as they skate towards the corner as Brett Gravel gets checked. Gravel will feed it back to the right point as leader. Trying to get it back to Gravel. Utah picks it off. They couldn't clear it all the way out as it's taken by Gravel at neutral. He's still backing out into his own zone as he'll tap it off the near wall. Grizzlies move it ahead at neutral. Ice. Jamison thought he got hit with a high stick no call as Fitz. Trying to move it back towards right as Coda will step over the offensive line. He'll get it to Nikolaev. I try to feed it back to Coda. Passes behind him. Pitts throws to center ice where it's regathered by the rush. And Zolsdorf back in his own end. Throws a left wing pass to Gravel. Gravel skates towards the left circle. Takes a shot. Saved by Metcalf. Puck still in plays. It bounced off the end glass as Gravel centers it. But Rapid City couldn't handle the bouncing puck. Now Robertson shot. Saved by Metcalf as Rapid City towards the right corner. As they battle with McDonald, Nikolaev around the net. As he gets tripped up, is there a call? And doesn't look like it. Well, I don't see the official signal. As Robertson, right side, shot. Glove saved by Metcalf. Garrett holds on, 204 left in the second. As couldn't tell if the official's arm was raised or not. Oh, I think it is a penalty. Uh, well, I can't see the official signal, but it looks like Tyler Penner's arguing his case. It looks like for the first time tonight, Rapid City is going to be on the power play. The rush this season are 17.3% on the power play. Grizzlies penalty kills an even 79%. Utah was four for four on the penalty kill in last night's game. And, well, fan was in the way, so we couldn't see who was in the box for Utah. I think it was Tyler Penner. It's the Grizzlies three and the rush two. Late in the second period, 204 left. As Cam Strong will be on the ice, so is James Shearer. Looks like Jamison will take the draw. Corey Thomas out there as well. Grizzlies have outshot the rush 24 to 21, but Rapid City with 
quite a barrage of shots here in the last half of the second period. Draw one by the rush as they're on the right side as Zolsdorf will feed it just outside the right circle. Now it's back over to Zolsdorf. Now to Karen. So he'll take a lefty shot. It's blocked. Puck squirts towards the near corner. Big collision as Karen skates over there. Calder Brooks pushes down Jameson. Grizzlies still battle in the corner as Rapid City will roll it along the wall to back to the far side as the rush in the right point. Oh, but nobody was home in the right point as they threw it behind them. Rush will have to reset at center ice. As Karens will skate over the line, he'll skate to the right side and whip it back towards the left corner. Puck glides along the near goal line, taken by Thomas, whoever skates it. Marshno will chip it along the wall. Right point, Rapacity will have to skate over there. Does Coda keep it in? And looks like he just dumped it in. Looked like a delayed offside as Utah gets the puck. And they'll bounce it off the boards. Now it's at neutralized Grizzlies. Look to center it to Pfizer, passes behind him. Rush come back the other way. As Rapid City skates to the right side, as Nikolaev will chip it back towards Gravel. He'll take a lefty shot on it, goes wide. As Puck goes to the left corner, as McDonald will feed it to the right side. Nikolaev takes it back for Rapid City. As he'll drop it off for Nelson. Nelson back off the end wall for Gravel. He gets it back up top for Nelson. Right circle shot, saved by Metcalf. Garrett holds on, 42.8 seconds left in the second period. 39 seconds left in the Rapid City power play. Good job by Garrett Metcalf not allowing a rebound there. You know, think about how busy Metcalf has been in the second period. He only saw six shots in the first, but he's seen 16 here in the second. And most of them have come in the last six or seven minutes. Faceoffs in the far circle. Cameron Wright will take it against... Colton Leader, who's playing a defensive role tonight, but he took the faceoff there. Grizzlies will take it away after Rapid City won the faceoff, and they clear it out. Chechilev now behind his net. will feed it to the far side. Rush skate from right to left. 26 seconds left in the second period. They cross center ice. And now they try to get to the left circle. Utah picks it off and clears it back out. Chechilev in front of his crease will throw it back to the right corner for Nikolaev. 10 seconds left in the power play as Nikolaev moves it out to center ice. Now Nelson will skate in as he looks to center it from the left side. Utah picks it off. Now the puck skates towards the left circle. Nikolaev shot saved by Metcalf. Two seconds left as the puck squirts towards center ice, and that will do it for 40 minutes over at the Monument as the Grizzlies did a good job on the penalty kill, and Garrett Metcalf's been outstanding so far tonight as the Grizzlies won the second period 2-1, to one, and they lead the game 3-2 to two as Utah's goals from Cam Strong, Cameron Wright, and Dylan Fitz. Fitz has one goal and one assist tonight. Both the Rapid City's goals have been scored by Max Coda. One in the first period and one in the second. We'll recap all the scoring and everything from the first two periods of play, and we'll also talk with Guy Karenz and get his thoughts on things. And we'll go over some scores from around the league. Second intermission over at the Monument. It's Utah 3 and Rapid City 2. This is the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto. When you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro Card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. 
Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. Second intermission over at the Monument. They've got chuck a puck going on as they, oh, I think their puck ended up in the toilet. As they got a, a, like a 10 foot stand and then they have a toilet at center ice and the grand prize winners, whoever gets the puck in the toilet, I believe. I actually did think I saw one go in there. And that's a unique way to do chuck a puck there in Rapid City. And uh, you, you throw the puck in the toilet, you get the grand prize. Uh, I don't know what you win. I guess maybe you get free plumbing from somebody or something, but <laughs> we've had a good one. It's been a very entertaining game. I, I got to say of the entertainment value, the first 40 minutes has certainly been it. And I kind of wonder what Ryan can ask, which his message message was in the locker room before the game, because the Grizzlies really are being the aggressor offensively. They're making quick decisions with the puck, and I think for Kanazowicz, he wants them to play with confidence tonight, and the Grizzlies offensively have done that. Utah scored first this evening. They are 8-3 and three when scoring first this year. Dylan Fitz scored 5.50 in. It was a power play goal. It was Fitz's fourth of the year. Bartley and Raby with the assist. There is a grand prize winner as somebody did get the puck in the toilet there at center ice, and Nugget celebrating on his birthday as um, you know, he's having a good time. There is a grand prize winner. I wonder if it was Grisby. I mean, Grisby's in attendance. Maybe Grisby's the one that threw that puck into the toilet at center ice. And it'd be kind of fun if it was. But uh, nevertheless, as Fitz, we mentioned, scored 550 in and then 13 13 into the first period. Max Coda got his fifth of the year. Robertson and Gravel with the assists. Score was tied at one after one period. Utah outshot Rapid City 12 to six. Grizz took a 2-1 lead after Cameron Wright scored his sixth of the year. McDonald and Fitz with the assist. So Dylan Fitz already with a multiple-point game with one goal and one assist. He's taken three shots for the Grizzlies. Um, and so, you know, you're thinking about the Grizzlies. That's actually the first five-on-five -five goal that the Grizzlies had since December 28th when Jordan Martell scored 633 into the third period. That was the stretch where Utah scored back-to-back -back goals 13 seconds apart. Uh, Rapid City, two and a half minutes later, tied it up as Brett Gravel scored his second of the game as uh, or Max Cota scored his second of the game and Gravel getting a second assist as Gravel moved it ahead. He was at center ice, lifted the puck, and then Cota got it behind Utah's defense, skated to the left circle and, and had a great A look and scored his second of the game and sixth of the season. Brett Gravel with two assists here tonight. He now has seven on the season. It's his 19th game of the year for Rapid City. And just like that, it was tied at two. But how about the Grizzlies coming back and scoring 12 seconds later? As Utah won the faceoff, Simeone moved it ahead to Cam Strong. Strong skated towards the left circle and fired away and got it past Chechilev. And 12 seconds after Coda tied it up, Cam Strong, 7.09 in, gave Utah a 3-2 lead, and that's where we stand now. There was only one power play in the second period. Tyler Penner got called for a tripping minor, 17.56 in. Uh, Rapid City did have a couple looks on their power play, and Garrett Metcalf really is just – Held strong as the Rapid City has one goal in each of the first two periods. The rush actually outshot the Grizzlies 16 to 13 in the second period. And it felt like the majority of those shots came in about the last six or seven minutes of the second period. So Utah still leads the shot count 25 to 22. The Grizz won the special teams battle. They are one for two on the power play and one for one on the penalty kill. And right now that's the difference in the game as Utah leads by a score of two, of three to two, and Utah this season, when leading after two periods, has a record of eight and one. That's when the Grizzlies lead after two. As Utah looking to end a six-game losing streak, and Rapid City has won three of their last four, looking to make it four out of their last five. As I mentioned, it's the first game for Garrett Metcalf since December third against Idaho, where he stopped forty-four of forty-six. And he's looked outstanding again tonight as the Salt Lake City native is off to a great start of the year for Utah. He's 5-1 and one this season with a 9-13 save percentage. So good effort so far for Garrett Metcalf, and the Grizzlies need a good effort here in the third period. 
the old saying, you've got to play a full 60 minutes, and that seems to be the case with the Grizzlies here tonight. Can they play a full 60 minutes and come away with two standings points and even up this best of three series as Rapid City last night won 5-2, to two. and tonight we'll see if the Grizzlies can come out on top. Right now they lead 3-2 to two after two periods. When we come back in one minute, we'll talk with Guy Karenz and get his thoughts on things as Utah's up 3-2. to two. This is the Siegfried and Jensen intermission report on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or ice. Enjoy a fresh cup today. Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies Hockey, second intermission coverage. Utah leads 3-2. to two. I'm Tyson Wadding here with Guy Carenza. And, uh, Guy, how about this action here? It's one of the most entertaining games I've seen all year. This is a great game, Tyson. This game's been a lot of fun, a lot of back-and-forth action. And uh, how about that Grizzlies response to that rush goal? Yeah. Just, just fantastic. Really, a lot of scoring, uh, and really quick-paced game. It's a lot of fun. Cameron Wright once again getting it done for Utah. So he gave Utah a 2-1 to one lead, and... How about Connor McDonald getting an assist? I think McDonald, you know, it's a lot of what he's done away from the puck, but I think he's played a great game. Yeah, Tyson. Connor McDonald's one of those unsung heroes of this team. He's the captain. He's the leader. And it's the things that he does off the score sheet that really help this team. And I, I don't think he gets enough credit uh, around town for what he does for this team. I mean, he's a great shot blocker. He's great on the penalty kill. He's a great puck moving defenseman. And Grizzlies love him on their team. And think about the leadership of this Grizzlies club. I mean, Connor McDonald's wearing the C, but Dylan Fitz, one of the alternate captains. I mean, he's got a goal and an assist tonight. This might be Dylan Fitz's best game of the year. Yeah, Tyson, Dylan Fitz is one of those guys where uh, when your name is called, you rise to the occasion. That's Dylan Fitz. Uh, earlier, we were talking about who's going to be that guy in the absence of some of the Grizzlies uh, star players. Who's going to be that guy that steps up? And it's been Dylan Fitz. And uh, we can't forget about Cam Strong in this game, who also has a goal. These are two guys that sometimes stay off the score sheet, but when the moment comes, when they need them most, they rise to the occasion. You, know, you mentioned Cam Strong. It's good to see him over the last five games really pick it up because it seems like he's played hard every game. It just hasn't necessarily shown up on the stat sheet. But over the last five games, he's got three goals, and he's really making his presence felt. Yeah, Tyson. And unfortunately, for the majority of the season, Cam Strong just seemed to be snake bitten. I mean, for, for a long stretch, it was like the guy couldn't buy a goal. And uh, that wasn't due to lack of effort. Uh, I mean, I feel like he's one of those guys that puts a lot of effort into his game. He, he battles hard. It's just sometimes you just don't get that puck luck. And uh, it's really good to see that now he's really starting to get on the score sheet and uh, find his stride here in the middle of the season. So that's good for the Grizzlies going down the stretch. Obviously, it's tough to really know what's going on in the Grizzlies locker room concern. We're here in the Salt Lake Valley in the Grizzlies office, in the lobby of the Grizzlies office. But I kind of think about just the style of play that Utah has played tonight and uh, where it's just a lot of end to end and it's a lot of quick decisions. And I almost think that Ryan Knass, which had that message that, Hey, we just got to, we just got to go all out in this game. Maybe a little bit of run and gun, just kind of take it to them. And, and uh, when the Grizzlies were at their best last season, they really were the aggressor taking it to the opposition. And here tonight, I think for a good portion of this game, I mean, Rapid City's had their stretches as well, but it seems like the Grizzlies are really dictating the action tonight. Yeah, Tyson, I think the message from Coach was clear, that the Grizzlies need to come out, and they need to come out guns a-blazing, and they did. And so credit to the Grizzlies for sticking to the memo and sticking to the game plan, and they've done that through the majority of this game. Uh, they dominated puck possession for the majority, although they've let the Rapid City rush kind of creep back into this thing late in the period, but... Uh, this is one of the best games that I've seen the Grizzlies play it, it, probably in, in about a month or so. So I really like the way that they came out and responded to the loss from last night. Grizzlies are 8-1 and one when leading after two periods. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the third. But how about some other action in the division? How about the Wichita Thunder coming up with a 4-1 to one victory over Idaho? The last time Idaho lost before tonight was when Garrett Metcalf stopped 44-46 and Utah won 4-2. to two. And, um, you know, so... 
Wichita is in second place in the, in the division. You know, Grizzlies have yet to play them this season. Utah also hasn't played Tulsa at all this year. They will play them in a three-game set over at BOK Center later, later in the month of January, and the Grizzlies have only seen Allen play three times. And so I think for the Grizzlies, you know, it's just it's going to be important to just pick up wins where you can, considering that the majority of the second half of the season, especially in the last two months, Grizzlies are going to be home quite a bit. And so I think for Utah – Getting a road wins where you can, especially like a game like tonight, is certainly going to be critical. Yeah, Tyson, I agree with that. And I think these games, these division games especially, are important, especially against teams like Rapid City, who you're chasing in the standings. Uh, the Tulsa Oilers, who we've yet to see. The Wichita Thunder, uh, who the Grizzlies are behind. Uh, and also, those games against Allen are going to be huge. If the Grizzlies can come out and, and win games and series against these teams, it's going to help close that gap. And when the Grizzlies finally get guys like Sekos, Sekos back and uh, and uh, maybe Bryson Martin down the stretch, that could be huge in uh, closing that gap between those uh, those teams in front of them, making that playoffs race really tight. And think about it. You, it just seems like it's not a coincidence that you look at the top teams in each division. Usually those are the clubs that have the most road wins. Everybody seems to play well at home, but who can get those road victories? And I think for the Grizzlies – you know, they had 19 road wins last year, which was the most in the division, and there was no coincidence that they ended up hoisting the Mountain Division uh, banner. And you know, I think that you know you're talking about you know eight of the 12 games in the month of January, starting yesterday, being on the road. Um, I think the Grizzlies are going to need to find a way here in this the second of a five game road trip to see if they can find a way to you know get the two standings points because every road win is going to count. And I think for the Grizzlies, you want to find a way to stay within striking range of those other teams in the division. Yeah, Tyson, I agree with that. And I think it's important that the Grizzlies win uh, the majority of these games on this road trip. As you said, uh, that road record is going to become huge. And you mentioned a lot of games at Maverick Center down the stretch towards the end of the season. So I think if the Grizzlies can manage to stay afloat with wins on the road and entering that stretch with those home games, with a ruckus Maverick Center crowd at their backs, it could be a really good stretch to uh, make a push for the playoffs. When we come back to the intermission report presented by Sigfrid and Jensen, we will go over some of the home games to the Grizzlies in the month of January, and we'll also have third period action as Utah leads Rapid City 3-2 to two as we head into the third period next on the Grizzlies Hockey Network presented by Sigfrid and Jensen. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Welcome back to Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting here with Guy Carenza. Utah's got four home games here in the month of January. Remember, the next home game for the Grizzlies will be on Monday, January 16th against the Idaho Steelheads. It's going to be Nickelodeon and Sensory Friendly Day. Come out and see our SpongeBob SquarePants-themed jerseys for Nickelodeon Day, and the sound will be turned turned down for Sensory Friendly Day. Bring the whole family for some Nickelodeon-themed hockey action. That's going to be on Monday, January 16th, as it's going to be a 3 o'clock start on Martin Luther King Day. And it's going to be interesting to see the SpongeBob SquarePants-themed jerseys. That will certainly be a hit among Grizzlies fans. It'll be interesting to see who wins the jersey auction of those and see who ends up wearing those in future Grizzlies home games. The Rapid City Rush will be at Maverick Center for a three-game set beginning on Wednesday, January 25th. That's going to be a Bud Light College night, a 7-10 start. Friday, January 27th is going to be the next AFCU Friday where tickets start at just $8 when you pay using your AFCU debit or credit card at the Maverick Center box office. And one of the best nights of the year is Guns and Hoses Night. Rapid City will be in town for the last of the three-game set. That's going to be on Saturday, January 28th. Remember, there's going to be two charity games uh, in the afternoon leading up to the Grizzlies game at 7-10. If you get a Grizzlies ticket, that means you also get a ticket and get, can get into the charity games 
And so that's always a lot of fun. Very high spirited games between the guns and hoses, the charity events. That's going to be in the afternoon and should be a fun one as the Grizzlies take on the Rapid City Rush. That's the four home games that the Grizzlies will have in the month of January. Tickets are available at utahgrizzlies.com or by calling 801-988-8000. That's 801-988-8000. When we come back in one minute, we'll have third period action as Utah leads Rapid City 3-2 to two on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro Card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account. To- Expectations here will always remain high and we'll continue to find a way. put together a lot of good games you know we're about set to start third period action as utah leads rapid city three to two dylan fitz already has one goal and one assist for the grizzlies max coda has both the rapid city's goals and brett Cravel has two assists utah's eight and one this season when leading after two periods and as Guy Carenza had mentioned, you know, next goal could end up winning this game. And we'll talk with Guy here as we're about set for third period action. And Guy, is it going to be the type of game where next goal wins? I mean, it wasn't the case last night where Utah scored first in the third period and then Rapid City scored three unanswered. Do you think the next goal wins this game? Well, Tyson, it feels like the next goal is going to be huge, right? But I don't necessarily think that that's going to be the one that wins the game. I, I feel like we're kind of trending towards the style of an offensive shootout here in the third period. Uh, I think the Grizzlies would like to keep and hold this lead, but man, the Rapid City Rush have really been pounding it the last couple of minutes in the second period. I don't expect them to go away quietly. I think we're going to have a, a bit of an offensive shootout here. And for the Grizzlies, they've got that one goal lead, but you certainly don't want to sit back because Rapid City does have some talented forwards. 20 minutes are on the clock as we'll start the third period. Grizzlies will skate from right to left as we see it from Flow Sports. Your mind's eye, see it on YouTube. Rapid City will be skating from our right, our left to our right. And Grizzlies from our right to our left as Rapid City wins the draw. Colton Leader will nudge it ahead. Utah picks it off. Grizz at center ice. Taren Ter- Pfizer gains a line. He'll veer off to the right circle, take a righty shot. On it goes wide as he tried to go glove side on Chechlev. Puck at neutral ice. Run down by Max Coda. He's got a hat trick watch. He'll take a shot. He scores as Max Coda completes the hat trick. And 18 seconds into the third period, we're tied at three. And the hats come flying on the ice as Max Coda just somehow got a breakaway in the right circle and was able to lift it over Garrett Metcalf's shoulder. And his puck ended up going past Victor Bartley. Coda just raced in with good speed, got to the right circle, skated in towards the goal line, and just lifted it over the shoulder of Garrett Metcalf. And the fans are going nuts over at the Monument. Obviously, they'll have a little bit of a delay to pick up the hats that are on the ice as Max Coda has all three of Rapid City's goals tonight, and it looks like the hats are still flying on the ice as 18 seconds into the third period. Just like that, the rush had tied it up, and, and guy, that's certainly tough for the Grizzlies. It looked like uh, the puck just ended up squirting past Victor Bartley, and then Coda with good speed got behind him and had an open look. Yeah, Tyson, uh, it's certainly that's less than ideal for the Grizzlies, but – as I mentioned before, it, the Rapid City Rush, they weren't going to go away quietly. And I think they got the Grizzlies a uh, little off guard to start this period. So uh, we, we've noticed that the Grizzlies have been able to carry the momentum over into the next shift after a goal is scored. Uh, watch for the next couple of minutes here and see how they play for the next few shifts and see if they can get that momentum back in their favor. Maybe get a quick one going their way. Yeah, the big it's going to be big to see who ends up getting that next goal. And really that next couple minutes, as a guy mentioned, you know, can the Grizzlies get the momentum back in the game or does rapid city use the momentum? There is a little bit of a delay as there's still hats being thrown on the ice. And maybe that can kind of take away a little bit of the rapid city momentum, but it looks like a good Friday night crowd over at the monument. They haven't listed the attendance as of yet, but Max Coda have a night. He's got a hat trick as he scored three goals. Uh, he scored 13-13 into the first period. He scored 657 into the second. And now 18 seconds into the third period. Uh, he delivers his third of the game and seventh of the season. Draw's going to be at center ice. 
looks like right now it's listed as unassisted. They might add an assist later as the Grizz win the face off as they skate from right to left as Utah will feed it out to center ice pass connects. Grizzly skate down the middle. Oh, they, got, they got it poked away. It was Cameron Wright skating down the middle. He feeds it up top to Sure. Takes a shot saved by Chechilev. Rebound goes out to Rapid City. Three on two. Rush cross center ice. Now they gain the line. Coda gets it to the left side. Coda around a skater. A good poke check by Nilsson. As the Grizzlies back in the far side with the puck as they'll skate around Metcalf's net in their third jersey. They're alternate with the green numbers and white lettering. And black jersey as Dylan Fitz crosses center ice left wing and he'll roll it around the wall. As Rapid City gets held, uh, holds up Utah along the corner. Right spins it back to the left point. Corey Thomas gets it. The former Idaho stillhead will feed it to the corner. It bounced off a right stick. And taken by Zolsdorf, who feeds it from one corner to the other. Rush will glance off a Grizzly stick as the puck's still in the Grizzlies offensive zone as it bounces in the far corner. Robertson holds up Utah, and the puck goes around the net. Grizz have it. Uh, they center it over towards McCall or towards McCall Chuck. He takes a shot and is blocked. As Rapid City will bounce the puck out to center ice, regathered by Utah as they glide it out to Corey Thomas in the left wing. Thomas nudges it ahead, but it's taken away by the rush. Rapid City, Roy Karen skates towards the left side, centers the Marshall, take a shot, saved by Metcalf. Now the puck goes up top. Right point, Robertson gets it across. Rush, Rush will spin it back towards the right side from the left. And looked like nobody was at the right point to protect it as Utah will dump it into the offensive zone. Martell will roll it around. Nicole Chuck in the right corner falls down. No call on the play. Quinn Wickers was in the area. Penner gets it over towards McCall Chuck as Utah gets pinned towards the boards. And it's McCall Chuck again. Raby skates towards the right circle, but the puck goes to McCall Chuck back towards Penner. Shot goes wide on a one timer. Left point, Bartley. Back to the left side for Raby. Raby skates towards his right, and so he'll chip it to the right circle. Grizzlies get poked away by Iverson as McDonald was looking for a shot. Now right wing shot, and it's blocked about five feet in front of Chechlev. As Grizzlies skate towards the end wall, the offensive zone fall down. They get back to their feet. Wickers will tap it off the near boards. It goes past Roy Karens. Bartley left point shot. All goes wide. It looked like it got redirected, and Chechlev was off balance a little bit. As Calder Brooks takes the puck, and he'll move it ahead to Karens. Karens gets blasted along the near wall by Penner. Raby feeds it up top to McDonald. Right wing shot. All goes just wide. The puck bounces at the near goal line, and Rapsy chips it back towards the near corner. Penner feeds it up top to Bartley. Bartley back to Penner, who will backhand it around the wall. As the Grizzlies on the right side get the puck, as Wickers delivers a hit. And Utah Penner skates towards the corner. He loses it as Karens will get it back towards the far side. His action has been in the Rapid City zone here for about a minute. As Rapid City holds up Utah along the wall. Grizz come out of it with the puck as Pfizer gets it up top. Now to the left side for Bartley. They get it back to the right for McDonald. Connor gets it back to Bartley on the right side. He'll chip it across to Pfizer. One-timer, and he falls down as the puck gets redirected. As he fell down trying to... Connect on the one-timer. Iverson gets the puck and he'll lift it in the air as Rapid City towards center. Goes back to Iverson, and Keegan Iverson will skate towards new try, so bounce it off McDonald. Grizzlies skate back in. Dylan Fitz will take a righty shot. It's blocked. Now backhand shot, a score! Dylan Fitz gets his second of the game, and Utah's taking a 4-3 lead. Boy, Dylan Fitz looked for a shot, kind of fanned on it, then he got it back. Skated towards the goal line on the near side. Got Chechlev off balance and fired a backhand shot over the Rapid City goaltender. What a game for Dylan Fitz, who has two goals and one assist. And Utah is retaking the lead. It's 4-3. to three. Boy, thinking about Dylan Fitz playing great against Rapid City, I think of game two of the Mountain Division Finals, where he scored two big third-period goals to keep Utah in the game before the Grizz scored two goals in the final 50 seconds. As Rapid City wins the draw, Utah leads 4-3. At center ice, Rapid City lifts it over the head to Metcalf. It bounces off the boards. Grizzlies to the near side. We'll move it ahead to Fitz, who's on hat trick watch. Now Aliardi skates in left side to the circle, centers it to Nelson. He'll take a shot and saved by Metcalf. Over to the left side, Zulzdor feeds it towards the net, and Utah pokes it away as a Grizz. We'll lift it out to center ice. It's gathered by... Zulsdorf of Rapid City. They'll get it across the leader. It will feed it from blue line to blue line, but nobody was home for Rapid City. Grizzlies have it deep in their own zone. As Shear will spin it back towards the right side. Grizz will nudge it ahead. As Utah will give it out to the right side. Utah steps over the offensive line, gets to the right. Right with a slot shot saved by Chechlev. Rebound bounces, bounces off the near boards. Now Thomas with a shot that ricochets off a stick and goes wide. Wickers loses it. 
Grizzlies at the far goal line will drop it off to the corner. Penner gets hit. Puck squirts towards the middle. Aliardi will gather it and will bounce it off the near boards. Take it by Thomas. He'll get it across the Thoe. Thoe will skate towards the near wall. Now he crosses center ice with speed. Thoe skates towards the left circle. Take a lefty shot. Saved by Chechilev. Rebound goes out to the slot. And a righty shot by Mikalchuk goes wide. Grizzlies get it up top for Thomas. Left point, lefty shot, saved by Chechilev. Rebound goes to the near corner. As arm is raised by the referee, who's it going to be on? Uh, as there was a battle, high sticking's the call. And it looks like Mikalchuk battling. Now Mikalchuk pushes Keegan Iverson after the whistle. 14 49s left in the third. Klotz will skate over there to police things. Who's going to the box? That's the question. Robertson argues his case. Looks like it's going to be on Rapid City. Carter Robertson goes to the box. As looks like Utah is going to be on the power play. They lead four to three. Fourteen forty nine left in the third period. And looks like McCallchuck. Having some words with Garrett Klotz. As McCallchuk got physical in the corner, Iverson really doing most of the conversating with McCallchuk. It looks like the Grizzlies are on the power play. 14-49 left in the third. It's kind of a concern that the referee had made a signal that had both people, uh, guys from both teams in the box. Looks like Iverson skating to the box, and he'll take a seat. I wonder if McCallchuk's going to do the same. As Carter Robertson got the high sticking penalty. Now Iverson goes to the penalty box. He argues his case as Utah leads four to three. Draw is going to be in the Rapid City zone. Looks like Nelson goes to the box. He slams the board. The, he slams the door as why well, that must have been away from the whistle after the play or something. So Nelson, a um, little bit disappointed in that. As now we'll see who gets a power play out of this. As there's 14:49 left in the third period, it's going to be a power play for Utah. As we'll skate five on four for two minutes, and the draw won by Utah's Cameron Wright will get it up top. Grizzlies, Bartley gets it to Pfizer, and he'll throw it to Wright, who spins it along the boards, goes towards the near goal line. Grizzlies centering pass, shot! And saved by Checha. Oh, he scores! Cameron Wright gets his second of the game as the centering pass connected. Wright fired it past Chechilev, and Utah's taking a 5-3 to three lead. So Cameron Wright gets his second of the game, and you talk about the Grizzlies really finding a way here offensively to um, just kind of get things done as they've already got five goals tonight, two here in the third period. It's the Grizzlies five and the rush three. Trot center ice is won by Utah. The Grizz are up by two. Utah will chip it over to the left side, and it looks like Utah's offside. They're looking for Cameron Wright towards the Rapid City blue line. 14-28 left in the third period as Utah leads 5-3. to three. Draws going to be at neutral ice. Utah's outshot Rapid City 31-24. to 24. On the Cameron Wright goal, we're not, we're not sure who got the assist, but somebody chipped it out in front of him. As the draw, one by Utah, neutralized. They fire a shot, and it goes wide of the mark. It goes back towards the far side. Rush will get it to Cotto, who's already got three goals tonight. Skates towards the left side, gets it poked away. Cotto over in the corner gets hit. The Grizzlies will try to clear it out. It stays in the far side. As Rapid City in the offensive zone will roll it back around. Zolsdorf in the area. He's in the right corner, gets pushed by Cameron Wright. As the, draw, as the rush... Skate towards the right circle. Nikolaev gets it taken away. Grizzlies will nudge it ahead. No icing as Cameron Wright will chase after it. He's over in the corner. He's already got two goals tonight as Wright with a goal in the second and a goal in the third. will chip it towards the left circle for Penner. Bouncing puck in the slot taken by Zolsdorf. He skates down the middle, crosses center ice, and dumps it in. 
as the Grizzlies will chase after it in their own zone as Garrett Metcalf directs traffic. So they get it over to Corey Thomas, who skates around Utah's net. Thomas over to the far side for Penner. Back towards where Thomas vacated. Sure, spins along the near wall. Goes to the right point. Leader cuts it off. He'll take a shot. Blocked in the right circle. Now another shot. Utah blocks that one as well as it goes out to center ice. Carter Robertson back at neutral ice. Crosses center. He gets it taken away by Pfizer as puck ends up deep in the Grizzlies zone. Thomas gets it. As Thomas back behind Metcalf's net. He'll throw it to the near side for Tho. Tho will carry it out of the zone. Crosses center ice. Makes a nice move on Leader. Now Tho skates towards the left circle. Now around Leader to the right corner. Leader hits him in the far side. Pfizer in the area. As Pfizer gets pushed, he's battling with Leader. As now Pfizer with a push on Leader. And... Now the puck goes to the right point. McDonald with a shot. It's blocked by Rapid City as it goes towards the near side as Rapid City has the puck deep in their own zone as they skate from left to right here in the third period. It's 5-3 Grizzlies. Aliardi gets to the left side. All right, Utah tripped up Rapid City. Is it going to be called as the rush? Skate towards the corner as Marcino loses the puck and tripping is going to be the call as the whistle blows. 12-32 left in the third period and... Looks like the rush are going to be on a power play as Tyler Penner is going to serve two minutes for tripping. When we come back in one minute, Utah leads 5-3 to three on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Utah leads 5-3, to three, but Rapid City's on the power play. It's Tyler Penner, two minutes for tripping. As leader gets over to the left side, righty shot saved by Metcalf, and he holds on. Connor McDonald doing a good job boxing Brett Gravel out in front of the net. As Garrett so far has stopped 22 of 25, Utah has outshot Rapid City 32 to 25. The stars for Utah tonight, Cameron Wright with two goals, and Dylan Fitz with two goals and one assist. Max Cota has all three of Rapid City's goals. as Utah wins the faceoff and clears it out. As Danil Chechelev plays it behind his net, he'll get it over to Colton Leader as the rush skate from left to right. Leader with an outlet pass to center to Aliardi. He steps over the line. Now he gets it to Danil Nelson. Right side over to Gravel. He gets it up top to Leader. Now it's the left side, Rapid City. Throws it up top for Leader. He fakes a pan, he fakes a shot, gets over to Nelson. Now back to Leader. One-timer, and it goes wide. As a puck around Utah's net. Now it's the near corner. Utah chases after it and clears it out to center. Nelson chases after it for Rapid City. He gets the puck with Jamison trailing him as Nelson will skate towards the Rapid City bench and will feed it across as Nikolaev on the near side will skate towards his left and he'll nudge it to the right wing for Nelson. Nelson to the right side gets around McDonald as a stick goes flying. Arm is raised by the referee. Is it going to be on Connor McDonald? Oh, looks like it's going to be a trip, and I think it is going to be on McDonald. As the fans applaud, McDonald lost his stick and Nelson tried to get around him. It looks like we're going to have uh, a penalty on McDonald. So it looks like it's going to be five on three for a bit of a time. I'm not sure just how long because I don't see the score book, uh, the scoreboard. But it's about halfway through. Tyler Penner's slashing minor, and now McDonald is in the box. So even though the Grizzlies lead five to three, it's a five on three for Rapid City for about a minute. Can the rush find a way to get back into this game, or can the Grizzlies find a way here with a two goal lead? Marshno will take the drop against Keaton Jamison. And the draw won by Rapid City as Karens will throw it to the high slot for Zulsdorf. Now back to Karens. He'll get it to Zulsdorf in the high slot. They'll get it to the left side for Gravel. Gravel back to Karens. 
They'll feed it to the near goal line for Calder Brooks. Back to Coda. Now to the left side. One-timer saved by Utah. Grizzlies cleared out to center. Marcino chases after it. He'll get it over to Zolsdorf. Five on three for 33 seconds. Rapid City steps over the blue line as Marshno outside the right circle. Gets up top for Karens. Karens back to Marshno as he veers off to the left. Now he feeds Dakota at the far goal line. Back to Marshno. Now Dakota, who's got three goals tonight. Dakota we go over to Marshno. One-timer. Kick saved by Metcalf, and the net gets dislodged. 13 seconds left in the five on three. Utah leads five to three as Zolsdorf having a couple words for James Shear after the whistle. As Grizzlies doing a good job on the penalty kill. And now Zolsdorf still wants to go after Shearer. As really for the Grizzlies, you're thinking about, you know, what can they find a way here to end the six-game losing streak? Ten forty-five left in the third. As the net got dislodged. Rat Rush won the faceoff as leader to the right side. We'll get to the near goal line for Nikolai. Back to leader. One timer. It goes wide. And the puck glides along the far boards. One Grizzly comes out of the penalty box. Now it's a five-on-four power play for Rapid City for about a minute as Rush will get it out to center ice as Rush carried over the offensive line. As Aliardi skates to the far goal line now around Utah's net, he'll get it to the high slot for Gravel, who nudges it back to his left. Now back to Gravel as he'll slide towards the right side. Now feed the puck back up top for Leader. Now to the left side, shot, and it's blocked. and goes back over to Gravel. It gets the leader in the right point. Now to the left side. One-timer's blocked. And exits the zone. Rapid City has to chase it back down in their own end. Chechlev with an outlet pass as it goes back into the Grizzlies zone. Utah gets it and they'll toss it across towards Chechlev. 15 seconds left in the power play. Utah leads 5 to 3, halfway through the third period. As Rapid City will get it out to center ice. Karens crosses center. He'll get a left wing pass in. Now back to Karens. The left circle takes a lefty shot that's wide. Grizzlies have a bounce off their stick as they clear the zone. As it goes out to center, Grizzlies back at full strength. And what a penalty kill for Utah as they had to kill a five-on-three for a minute and then a five-on-four for another minute as the rush. Still in their own zone as Pfizer back checks. He gets the puck and will bounce it off of Karens, who regathers it for the rush. 9-15 and counting left in the third as Karens to the near side. will skate along the near wall. Now he nudges ahead past McCall Chuck as Rapid City gets it back. Karens will roll it around the boards and the rush. Lose the puck over on the far side. Grizzlies will get it out towards center as McCallchuck will get it around Brooks as Wickers along the near side. Grizzlies in the area, hacking away in the corner of the offensive zone. Back up top for sure as Utah looking for another insurance goal up by two as Martell gets pinned by Quinn Wickers along the corner. Now it goes up top as Utah fakes a lefty shot. Now Nelson takes it and it's blocked by the rush. Rapid City will throw it out to the right side for Marchinot. As Marchino drops it off for Brooks, back to Marchino as he skates towards the right circle. They try to get it to Brooks in the corner. He wasn't looking for it. And Utah will lift it high into the air as it bounces in the rush zone. Zolsdorf chases after it as he gets the puck and glides it towards Chechlev. Now it goes back to Keegan Iverson. He'll feed it to the far side. Rush will throw a blue line to blue line pass. It bounced off a of Grizzly. Utah will backhand it to center ice. As Rapid City, Zolsdorf. We'll get it across. The rush will bounce it off the far side. And now the Grizzlies look to center to Fitz. Rapid City picks it off. Eight minutes and counting left in the third. As Rapid City crosses center ice, Klotz will dump it in. Puck rolls towards the near side, and it chips off the boards out to center. As Jamison dumps it in, Leader chases after it. Leader around the net. As he'll nudge it ahead as Rapid City will throw it out to center for Yamamoto who crosses center. He'll bounce it off to Thomas. Grizzlies in their own zone will chip it off the near glass. Goes back to the Rapid City line as the rush gather it. Quinn Wickers will 
Escape Matt towards the far side. Now he feeds it across the leader. Outlet pass to center ice. Glance stop is that court stick. Utah will nudge it back into the rush zone. Leader gets it back. He'll throw it to the far side. Now back to leader. As he'll skate north-south. Leader now at neutral ice. Gets to center ice. Right wing and dumps it in. Metcalf behind his net. Cuts it off as Garrett throws it to the far side. Now back towards Utah. Rolls it back around to Corey Thomas. Thomas dishes it out to Penner. Who will backhand it to center ice. Where it's regathered by Rapid City. Who dumps it back in. About seven minutes and counting left in regulation as the rush. Nikolaev skates towards a far circle, and Pfizer pokes it away. Now the rush will skate towards the goal line behind the net as Utah, with a good poke check, takes it away. Grizzlies doing a good job with interceptions, deflections, and just taking the puck away from Rapid City tonight as Raby tried to nudge it to the left circle. Rapid City takes it away. Max Coda already with three goals tonight. He's a man possessed as he crosses center ice and dumps it in. Nelson chases after. He gets the puck behind Utah's net. He'll dish it ahead. Grizzlies will slide it out to center ice as Raby will dump it in. As Raby chases after it, Quinn Wicker's there first. Raby trying to poke it towards the far side. Now Utah gets it. McCall Chuck wraparound shot saved by Chechilev. Now goes back to Rapid City who skates across center ice. Two on two. Nelson gains the line. Right circle centering pass. Shot and a score. And that's Lucas Fuke getting his first of the year as Logan Nelson was on the right side, centered it to Fuke out in front of the net, and he put it away. And for Lucas Fuke, it's a long time coming as it's his 21st game of the season, but it's his first goal, and it's now a 5-4 game as Rapid City has cut into the Utah lead. As Nelson was on the right side, centered it to Fuke, as it looked like the transition game was at work for Rapid City there. It's the Grizzlies five and the rush four for Logan Nelson. That will be a 16th assist of the year. And as we mentioned, that's the first goal of the year for Lucas Fuke. As the Grizzlies win the draw and they'll dump it in. About six minutes left in regulation as Utah is still up by one. As leader will nudge it ahead. Rapid City will get it out to center ice. Aliardi crosses center and dumps it in. As Utah, Connor McDonald trying to box out Fuke. As the Grizzlies will skate towards the near side. And it will chip it off the near glass as the puck flies and bounces in Rapid City zone. Carter Robertson gets it as he'll throw it back over towards Colton Leader, who nudges back to the far side, rush gate from left to right. As the rush, skate north-south, neutralize, they cross center and dump it in. As they bounce it off the boards, Corey Thomas gets it, and he'll throw it towards Bartley. Now the rush, out to neutralize, Tried to carry it back in, but they didn't. Grizzlies cross center. Penner loses it. And now back in Grizzlies territory. Utah moves it ahead. Pfizer has a glance off his stick as it rolls towards the slot. Zolzdorf gets it in front of Chechlev. He'll outlet it out to center. Now it's into the Grizzlies zone. Karen's chases it down to the near boards. He gets blasted by Corey Thomas. Puck glides back towards the far corner as Utah. We'll carry it out of the zone themselves. Utah gets to center, two on two. Pfizer patiently gains the line, gets it poked away by Zulsdorf. Now another Grizzly get, gains the line. Martel, left side shot, saved by Chechilev. As Rapid City will throw it out to the right side. They cross center. Marshno gains the line, right point, shot, and it goes high off the glass and off the protective netting. And out of play with 438 left in the third period. It's Utah 5. Rapid City 4, we're back to find out how this one ends together, and we'll be return in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can, and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, Surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. It's the Grizzlies 5 and the Rush 4 as it's been a very entertaining hockey game. One of the most entertaining games of the season. 
Draws in the right circle of the Grizzly zone, and it's won by Utah's Victor Bartley will tap it off the glass and goes out of play. No delay of game. Draws going to come back to the Grizzly zone. Utah led three to one after, or three to two after two periods. Both teams have scored two goals here in the third. Max Coda completed the hat trick 18 seconds in. Dylan Fitz 3:43 in retook the lead for Utah, and then Cameron Wright scored some insurance to give Utah a five to three lead. 5:24 in Lucas Fuke got his first of the season 13:47 in Logan Nelson and Alex Aliardi with the assist. Four and a half minutes left in the third as Grizzlies will throw it out to center ice, retaken by Nikolaev. As the rush, skate from left to right, pass out towards Gravel. Now Dakota, who's already got three goals tonight, they'll get it to the near corner. As the rush looks to center, it taken away by Wright. Cameron skates around Garrett Metcalf's net, and he'll feed it out to center ice. The Grizzlies will dump it into the corner. Chechelev behind the net will roll it back towards the near side. Four minutes left in regulation as the rush, Max Coda nudges ahead towards Gravel, but the Grizzlies gather the puck. Utah will cross center ice right wing and drive it around the boards. Chechlev cuts it off behind the net. He'll backhand it out to the far side as the rush will throw it across the center ice to Fuku, who scored a goal tonight, and now he throws it back to the near side. Now Leader gets it. Leader's played a ton of time here tonight. He'll nudge it ahead to Fuku, who skates down the middle. Fuku will feed it to Nelson on the right side. Take a shot. On it goes over Metcalf's glove and stays in play off the glass. Grizzlies will lift it out to center. Retaken by Zolsdorf. Three and a half minutes left. Utah leads 5-4 as the Grizzlies have the puck in front of Metcalf's net as Martell will nudge it ahead. Cam Strong gains the offensive line, feeds it to the right side for McCallchuk. He takes a shot that goes wide. Taken by Nelson. And so get it to center ice for Aliardi. Two on two. Aliardi gains the line, fakes behind him. Now he centers it. Rush will take, take a centering pass. Shot saved by Metcalf. Now it goes back to Nelson, left side. Utah pokes it away. As Garrett Metcalf's done him well enough to get the victory tonight, we'll see if he does in three minutes. As Rapid City crosses center ice, they regain the line. Rush skate towards the left circle. Robertson around the net. He gets hit. Rush back towards the left side. As they kick it over to the right for leader, now back to the left. Rush with a righty shot, and it's wide. Grizzlies get the bouncing puck and feed it over to Pfizer. Pfizer gets pushed by leader as he skates towards the right corner. Now Pfizer around the net will bounce it off the far boards. And it goes out to center ice. As Rapid City skates over there, leader in his own zone. Two and a half minutes left in regulation. As the rush get over to Calder Brooks. Brooks steps over the blue line and will backhand it into the near corner. Grizzlies chase after it. Shearer will get it ahead as Utah gets to neutral ice as they battle with leader as Penner throws it back over into the Grizzlies zone. Utah playing a game of keep away as they throw it to center ice and dump it in. Just over two minutes left in the third, 204 and counting as the rush have the puck. Exactly two minutes left in the third as the rush cross center ice. They'll step over the offensive line. They chip it over to the right side. Shot saved by Metcalf. That was taken by Marcheneau. Puck glides along the near boards. Now Rapid City high slot. Zolsdorf shot saved by Metcalf. As Marcheneau back behind the net as the rush. Get blasted in the corner. Utah holds up Colt Calder Brooks. Brooks goes down as Karen's battles. Utah with the puck as the Grizz will backhand it out to neutral ice. The net, I think, is empty. Grizzly score! Grizzly score on the empty net. This baby's in the refrigerator as Utah has taken a 6-4 to four lead. Boy, the net was empty. We didn't know the net was empty when Utah cleared the puck, but as we saw it just glide towards the net with the empty netter, uh, Utah picks up their sixth goal of the game, and how sweet it is. Six goals on 36 shots. Draw's going to be at center ice, as it looks like Chechelev is back in net for Rapid City. But how about that? The Grizzlies doing what they could to protect the 5-4 to four lead, and that was just from about 200 feet away when the Grizzlies fired towards the empty net and scored. I didn't see who it was. My guess is that it's Cam Strong, and we'll have to check. It's actually Keaton Jamison who gets credited for the goal, seventh of the year. He now has a goal in back-to-back games. 118 left in the third. Rush will dump it in as it's deep in the Grizzlies zone. As Garrett Metcalf's done well enough to get the victory as he's 5-1 and one so far. There's still some work to be done. As the rush, Colton Leader right side will fire it towards the net, and it goes wide as Penner battles with Nikolaev along the corner. As Gravel lifts it into the air. It's gloved by the Grizzlies in the near circle. Raby fanned on clearing it out. Puck behind Utah's net. As Nikolaev in the far side goes back to Pfizer, he kicks off a rush skate. Pfizer regathers the puck, and he'll fire it towards 
deep in the zone. The net is empty, and icing is going to be called on the Grizzlies, and we can't even see the other end of the ice, so it's hard to say whether the net is empty or not. It is, but icing is on the Grizzlies with 44 seconds left in the third period. Draws going to be in the left circle. Looks like Keaton Jamison was the one to get credited with the empty net, or Doesn't look like they've given any anybody an assist yet. Keaton Jamison now has one goal and one assist. Dylan Fitz, two goals, one assist. And Cameron Wright, two goals. As Rapid City wins the draw, Karens looks to center it out in front to Fook, but it goes fat past him as the rush. Back in the left point, we'll get it to Nelson in the right side. Nelson will throw it to the near goal line. Karens with a sharp-angled shot saved by Metcalf. Grizzlies will roll it along the near boards. Puck bounces in front of the net. Grizzlies will clear it out. 20 seconds left. It's nowhere near the net as Rush will skate after it, but it doesn't get to the goal line for an icing. Oh, but the whistle does blow with 16 seconds left in the third. As a Grizzly was down on one knee at neutral ice, is that going to be a penalty? Yeah, it is. Interference is going to be the call. And Rapid City's gone to the penalty box. So it looks like the Grizzlies are going to get a victory to end their six-game losing streak as Logan Nelson is walking into the Rodgers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell. The six goals for Utah certainly was needed. And as Guy Carenza had mentioned, and he's prophetic in talking about it, he thought this third period was going to turn into a shootout. Utah scored three goals in the third, and Rapid City with two in the in the third themselves. So, so it did turn into a bit of a shootout in the third period, and the Grizzlies look like they're going to come out on top. Rush win the draw in their own zone. 12 seconds left as Keegan Iverson will throw it out to center ice as the Grizzlies pick it off. Utah will dump it back in. Five seconds left. Chechelev plays it behind his net. Two seconds left, and that will do it. Grizzlies win. Grizzlies win 6-4, to four, and there was no doubt about it. As Dylan Fitz had two goals and one assist. Keaton Jamison, one goal and one assist, and two big goals from Cameron Wright. And what about Garrett Metcalf as he stopped 26 of 30 as his record goes to 6-1 and one on the season. Great victory for the Grizzlies as Ryan Kanaswich and his assistant Jared Pike walked to the locker room. Grizzlies are victorious tonight. What an exciting game it was. Maybe the most entertaining game I've seen all season as the Grizzlies get six goals tonight. And it was certainly needed after really struggling offensively. As they come away with the victory, six to four, as Utah outshot Rapid City 36 to 30. The Grizzlies were two for three on the power play. Rapid City was 0 for three. And that turned out to be the difference in the game as Utah won by two. When we come back, we'll have the post-game report. It's a happy locker room over at the Monument for the Grizzlies as they win 6-4 to four to end a six-game losing streak. And we're back for the post-game report in one minute on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account. days are here again at Maverick Center as Guy Krenz and I are hanging out as the Grizzlies get the victory at the Monument. Six to four is the final score and Guy Krenz called it as it turned into a shootout there in the third period. Grizzlies scored first. They are now nine and three when scoring first this season. Dylan Fitz on the power play 550 and scored from the right wing. Victor Bartley and Dakota Raby with the assists. Rapid City later in the first scored 13-13 in as Max Cota got his first of three goals on the night. Carter Robertson and Brett Gravel with the assist. The score was tied at one. After 20 minutes of play, Utah outshot Rapid City 12-6. to 6. 
Utah took a 2-1 to one lead, 421 into the second as Cameron Wright got his first of two goals on the night and his sixth of the season. Connor McDonald and Dylan Fitz with the assist. And the Grizzlies, you know, took the lead, but Rapid City tied it back up, 657 into the second. Max Cota with his second of the game and Brett Gravel with his second assist of the contest. And just like that, it was tied at 2, 657. And 12 seconds later, Cam Strong found the back of the net for the third time in the last five games. He's got four goals overall this season. Christian Simeone got his second assist of the year. And Utah led 3-2 to two at that point, and they led 3-2 to two after two periods. It's 18 seconds into the third period. Max Coda completed the hat trick as he skated along and scored from the right side. Uh, Coda with his seventh of the year, and the hats flew on the ice. And just like that, it was a 3-3 game. It could have gone either way. Grizzlies took the lead for good as Dylan Fitz scored unassisted 343 in. And then less than two minutes later, Cameron Wright on the power play scored his seventh of the year and second of the game. Keaton Jamison and Jordan Martell with the assist. So that was a big insurance goal for the Grizzlies because Lucas Fuke got his first of the year, 13.47 in. I was trying to see if it was his first as a pro. I think it actually might be his first as a professional. And it looked like you know Fuku was assigned to the rush by the Calgary Wranglers. He's got an AHL contract. Um, looks like he played overseas, uh, but it looks like it's, it's his first professional goal, uh, you know, in either the NHL, AHL, or ECHL levels. So congratulations to him. And that made it a 5-4 game, and Rapid City really had some good looks to tie it up. But Garrett Metcalf held strong. And then with the net empty, and we didn't know it was empty until the puck was gliding towards the net as Keaton Jamison scored as his seventh of the season. Jamison now has a goal in back-to-back games. And that was all she wrote. Grizzlies had a late power play as Nelson got called for an interference minor, 1944, and all that does is screw up the power play percentage. But Utah won the special teams battle once again. And that probably turned out to be the difference tonight. Utah was 2-4 for four on the power play. Rapid City was 0-3. for three. There was a stretch, though, where Rapid City had a one had one minute worth of a 5-on-3 power play as Tyler Penner got called for a slashing minor, 7-28 in, and Connor McDonald, one minute later, Got a tripping minor, and that was when the score was 4-3. to three. The Grizzlies' penalty kill held strong, kept it a one-goal game, uh, or kept it a two-goal game, but then Rapid City scored later on in the third period to make it 5-4, to four. but that stretch right there, the one minute of the five-on-three and then the five-on-four after that, I think was the most critical sequence in the game, and the Grizzlies' penalty kill for the second straight night held strong. As we're joined by Guy Carenza, you know, the penalty kill there, in the third period was certainly critical because the game could have gone either way. But how about the Grizzlies coming out with a victory tonight? Tyson, this is a huge victory, and I love this victory because not only does it end the losing streak, it's a win that you can build upon and a win that you can feel really good about. This is a game where we saw the Grizzlies once again dominate the special teams department. They were fantastic on the power play, and you mentioned the penalty kill where they stopped that five-on-three. Simply fantastic. But not only that, we were talking about, could the Grizzlies score f- uh, five on five? And they came out and they did it. And we talked earlier about how this team could be dangerous when they're clicking on special teams and five on five play. And here we go. The Grizzlies come out with a big, big victory. Cameron Wright had two goals, but this is probably Dylan Fitz's best game in a Grizzlies uniform. Two goals, and one assist. And he's done that against Rapid City in the past, score two goals. I think about that game that... Everybody remembers Dastu, you know, getting the game winner with about eight seconds left in regulation in game two of the Mountain Division finals. But it was the two goals that Dylan Fitz scored earlier in that period that kept the Grizzlies in the game. And you know, they moved Dylan Fitz up on a line there with um, it looked like he was out there with Wright a lot. Um, you know, he was getting a lot of ice time and, you know, he's a team leader for a reason. I thought, I thought Dylan Fitz was outstanding this evening. Yeah, Tyson, Dylan Fitz had himself a game tonight, and I think we got to give credit to Coach Ryan Kanasiewicz for shifting around the lines, trying to find out what clicks, what works. I mean, when you're in a losing streak like that, you got to make changes, you got to make adjustments, and Coach did that. And he really sent a message out to this team to come out and play hard and, and just – Try and dominate as much as you can. Just use your speed to win. And Dylan Fitz was one of those guys that really found chemistry with wherever Kanasiewicz put him, and he had himself a game tonight. So I think this is a fantastic game from Dylan Fitz and something that he can really build upon. And he seems to be one of those really clutch players for the Grizzlies. And how about Garrett Metcalf? He does it once again. You think about a guy now that um, is 6-1 and one for the Grizzlies this season, and I know 26 of 30 isn't, you know, isn't you know eye popping, but he made the saves late in the third period to help to really seal the victory for Utah. 
Yeah, Tyson. Uh, when we talked about this game turning into a shootout, and it did really blow wide open in the third period, uh, it was Garrett Metcalf that made the critical saves when the saves needed to be made, and that kept the Grizzlies in this game. The Rapid City Rush, they came out, and they came out firing, and Garrett Metcalf shut the door. He said no, and he made some very key, amazing acrobatic saves in that third period to keep the Grizzlies alive. Uh, just, just a really well-played game by Garrett. Uh, it's not really going to translate well onto the stat sheet, as you mentioned, but really, he gave the Grizzlies a chance to win, and he, then they did just that. It's a W in the win column for the Grizzlies. Hey, Keaton Jamison, a multiple-point game, one goal and one assist. And, you know, as I mentioned, Cameron Wright once again had a big game, but it seems like the defensive efforts for the Grizzlies. Connor McDonald was out there a lot. I think Victor Bartley played one of his best games of the year. And, you know, you knew there was going to be – uh, you're going to get tested there in that third period. You know, Rapid City's got a lot of talented forwards. The Grizzlies really met that challenge and met that test, you know, head on. And and uh, really, I think it was two points well earned to end the six-game losing streak. And you think about it, you jump up. You, know, you needed to win that game because Allen defeated Kansas City 2-1. to one. So the Grizzlies needed that victory to stay in sixth place in the Mountain Division. Wichita defeated Idaho 4-1 to one as Idaho's 12-game winning streak came to an end. You know, Max Cota had three goals for Rapid City. Let's look at the three stars of the game. Uh, third star, Lucas Fuke, with his first professional goal that we could see, um, at least um, NHL, AHL, ECHL. He did play overseas a little bit, but he gets his first goal of the year. He's the number three star. Cameron Wright with two goals is the number two star. I think they probably do that because he scored Utah's fifth goal, which actually turned out to be the game winner, even though – Dylan Fitz had two goals and one assist, and the number one star is Max Coda, who scored three goals for Rapid City. But you got to think about the Grizzlies' three stars. I mean, do we give the ultimate picks to click winner to Cameron Wright, or do we give it to Dylan Fitz? I mean, you, I guess you can make a case for Wright because his goal turned out to be the game winner. Uh, but Dylan Fitz with two goals and an assist was also outstanding. Um, let's see if anybody picked Wright as their pick to click or if anybody picked uh, Dylan Fitz as their pick. Um, is um, I'm almost leaning towards Fitz, but if there is a difference that ends up um, going towards towards Wright, it would be the fact that he got the game winner this evening. And that means that, you know, you think about Cameron Wright, who's really coming into his own um, here in his first year as a pro. I mean, you're talking about somebody that has been outstanding in the two games here in Rapid City. Anybody pick Wright or Fitz? No, I don't think so. I don't see anything... Uh either of those guys but i think to add to that i think i think the three stars for the grizzly side of the game i think you got to have dylan fitz as number one fantastic game and then then cameron wright then third i think garrett metcalf i think garrett made the saves that were critical when they needed to be made and, and kept the grizzlies in this game i agree um and then keaton jamison obviously the the goal was an empty netter at the end but he was nowhere near like he was well uh, deep in his own zone when he fired it towards the empty net just one of those just fired out there and it just happened to go in so Great win for the Grizzlies, and you think about it, uh, they're in a pretty good position tomorrow. Third game in three days. Kansas City's used Chechel out of the first two games of the set, and he's he leads the league in minutes played. He's played a ton of ice time. His backup, Adam Carlson, is 1-7 this year with an 862 save percentage. So he's really struggled this year. Grizzlies could go with Metcalf again. They could also go with Trent Miner, who had tonight off. It's kind of a luxury for Ryan Kanaswich, and you think about it, with the victory tonight, series will be on the line tomorrow, and I think things are going to suit up pretty well for the Grizzlies, especially if they can win the special teams battle again like they have in the first two games of the series. Yeah, Tyson, I think the Grizzlies can go to bed at night feeling happy and feeling confident with this win. And you mentioned Ryan Kanas, which having a luxury of having whoever he puts in that is is really an elite talent. Trent Miner's a great goalie, and so is Garrett Metcalf. Uh, so whoever's in net tomorrow night, I think they're going to be fine. Uh, but you mentioned Chechalov and maybe seeing Carlson tomorrow tonight. Uh, I was wondering how the fatigue factor might affect the, the goalie for the rush. And towards the end of that game, you figure he's got to be pretty tired. That's his second game in two days uh, at the end of a back-to-back -back for him. So if we see Carlson, Carlson tomorrow night, I think the Grizzlies have a good chance to win this series and, and take the next game. Apparently, two people did pick Dylan Fitz as their pick to click. Nick Hayes, oh, is, did? Nick Hayes is claiming that he went with uh, – went with, um, Dylan Fitz. Now, he probably did on a different platform. 
He probably didn't do it on the live chat, but he probably oh, said he it. did. He did. Oh, he did. Right. Oh, there. I don't know how what, I missed that. I, time, I, I apologize. What time did that. he put that in? Uh, oh, he really cheated. Good. He put he, that he in cheated. at 826. By then, Fitz had already scored a couple times. That's All that right. doesn't count. <laughs> that does I don't not know count. about that. That does not count. He made his pick to click at 826. He tried to pull a fast one on us. Nah. That's what Nick Hayes did. By then, uh, Fitz had already had a game. <laughs> That's the way to cheat playing pick to click. It'd be like, yeah, I picked Dylan Fitz halfway through the game when he's already got a, a goal and an assist. Well, see, here, here, <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing that throws me off, right, is uh, we'll make our picks to click at the start of the game. That's where I check first. But later on, if somebody scores, someone will just comment that name. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just say Fitz or right. And I, I can't tell uh, if that's your pick to click or if you're just – He's just uh, like, yeah, very way to go, right? about whoever scored the goal. Uh, so I, I don't know, maybe, maybe we need to clarify that later on, but either way, great game for the Grizzlies all around. There's a lot of really great candidates for who could be the pick to click for the game. Uh, but I think the most important thing is uh, as Grizzly fans, we can all go to bed happy knowing that the Grizzlies had a fantastic performance tonight and then ultimately got the win. Yeah. Grizzlies got the victory. That was the most important thing. Now, uh, I guess, uh, somehow flow sports, I think flow sports was the one having the issue is, uh, it looked like we were sending out audio, but, uh, you know, it didn't look like it was clicking there and it looked like for some reason the internet was rough and in, in rapid city i'm not sure what was going on there but i uh, the grizzlies come away with the six to four victory and as i mentioned the series is still on the line and as we talked about in the second intermission getting those road victories especially against a team like rapid city who traditionally is pretty good at home that's going to be you know a recipe for uh you know really coming back here in this season and having um you know because obviously it has been a little bit of a, a rough stretch for the grizzlies in the first 30 games but you know to have a really good second half of the season, you know, this could be a good jumping off point. Oh, yeah, Tyson, no doubt about that. Uh, not only is this a big, this is such a big win and in so many ways. First, it's a road win. Second, it's a win against Rapid City, a team that you're chasing in the Mountain Division standings, so that closes the gap. And uh, third, it's a, great, it's a game where you saw the Grizzlies break out offensively, something that we've been waiting to see, and now we finally see it. So I think it'll be interesting to see how the Grizzlies build upon this in the third game of the set, and uh, let's see if they can take the next game. But uh, Grizzlies come out here and they spoil Nuggets' birthday party <laughs> uh, with Grisby in attendance. So maybe yeah, maybe it's a sign of good things to come. That's probably the key. You need Grisby in attendance for these road games. And, yeah, Nuggets' birthday party has been spoiled. I'm not sure how old he is. He might be a teenager. As Rapid City, I think, is 15 years old. That might be as old as Nugget. So a little bit of teenage rebellious, re uh, rebellious nature from Nugget. But, um, you know, the... It looks like they did change the three stars of the game. Um, it looks like they changed it on the box score. They gave Dylan Fitz the third star, a second star, Cameron Wright, and then Max Coda with the three goals. He, he he probably deserved the top star honor anyway because he scored three goals. I guess a, a natural hat trick, scoring the first, second, and third, you know, Rapid City's first three goals of the game. But um, – yeah, but the Grizzlies ended up on top, and I think that they went with Walker uh, or with Wright ahead of – uh, fits because that goal that he scored turned out to be the game winner, which was Utah's fifth of the game. Utah outshot Rapid City 36 to 30. And, guy, it's good to be able to head home happy after the victory here tonight. Yeah, Tyson, like I said, it's it's a really great feeling. And not only it's a great feeling because you got the win, but like I said before, it's a game where you saw the Grizzlies really take that next step, really kind of evolve into the offensive team that we thought they were going to be at the start of the season. And so I think it's really nice to see everything coming together and uh, we can go to bed happy. Grizzlies six, Rapid City four. Well, that'll wrap things up here as we're hanging out in the lobby at Maverick Center. And it seems like we'll be here again tomorrow in the lobby. We'll check that internet wall to make sure it's working. And apparently, Flow Sports was having its having a cow there in the third period. But um, you know, the Salt Lake City Stars. If you want something to do tomorrow night, the Salt Lake City Stars will be here at Maverick Center, the G League affiliate of the Utah Jazz, and so that'll be a lot of fun at Maverick Center as we got the Grizzlies and, and Rush over at the Monument, and we also got Salt Lake City Stars basketball uh, here at Maverick Center. Once again, in two hours and 25 minutes and in front of 3,761 over at the Monument, the Grizzlies got two goals and one assist from Dylan Fitz. Cameron Wright scored the game winner. That's his fourth game winner of the season, and Keaton Jamison had one goal and one assist. Garrett Metcalf good, uh, gets, stops 26 of 30 as his record goes to six and one on the season grizzlies end a six game losing streak as a record is now 12 and 18 on the season rapid city falls below the 500 mark as their record is now 16 and 17 for guy carenza i'm tyson whiting and it is what it is